Hello? Hello, sorry. There we go. I, I shouldn't be muted anymore. Right? Right. Okay. Disclaimer. <clears throat> I feel not very good today. <coughs> um... I went to the dentist yesterday, and... I can, I can, I can tangent about that, uh, while I, while I set stuff up. I went to the dentist yesterday. And that's not, like, why I feel, why I feel bad today. Really. Other than, like, the stress. But I went to, I, I, just, I just wanted to tangent about the dentist. So, uh, should I talk about the reason why I feel bad for it? The reason I feel bad is because I'm on, um, um, not antibiotics, uh, like, anti, anti, anti fungal thing. Cause I had like a, I had like a, like a, like an infection, right? And I've had this for like 10 years, and it's why I have a cough. So... Like, I've started taking the thing, or maybe there are antibiotics, I don't fucking know, whatever. Point is, yeah, I'm pulling an anti-mold. Point is... <coughs> it's kicking my ass. It's, the mold was real, the mold was real. <laughs> <laughs> the mold was actually real. Bahamut, you're doing like, no, you're still muted. Also, I'm sorry, you feel bad. It's like... It's like... I don't know how to describe this. It's like... Why is this not? Oh, there we go. It's made me, like, more anxious because, like, I have pains in my chest now from, like, the antifungal stuff, like, fighting the infection thingy. So, like, did you tell your doctor? What am I gonna tell the doctor? Hey, the medicine you gave me is working? I forget exactly what it is, but it's... I take... I take two pills... ...once a week. And they also give me... They also give me the 50,000 units of vitamin D, which I take once a week. And then I take 5,000 units... ...every day. I have, like, a little dropper of vitamin D oil. Play pigeon thing in the noise. Love your duo with Medicare. I haven't actually seen it yet. I saw it. I saw it being posted. I haven't checked it out yet though. I hope Ghost Politics ain't jealous about it. Well, he should be. Ah, uh, cat girl thing gonna be the bay. Two pills a week. Two pills a week. Yep. Is it fish marks? It's not fish marks. Um, I only take two thousand. Are you a day? It did, gee, I'm gonna be hi, Pippa. You were on fire last week. Here's to another great week. By the way, could you turn into Spider Pippa again for a Sunday? Sunday. Uh, Sprinkle, Sprinkle's in your red $10. Hey, Pippa, I just wanna say thank you for checking out the music. Walmart has a new theme song for their commercials now. Oh my god, thank you, thank you for making it. Is that the real Sprinkles? Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jill's in ending, I'm gonna be pee Make sure to take all your fish mocks. It's not fish mocks. Raptor bathing doors. The Mexican government is talking about aliens right now. What? Rick bathing doors. I hope you don't have AIDS from the dentist. I don't have AIDS from the dentist. Um. Fuck. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I went to the dentist. Oh, Nicholas, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, you're trying to get better, and your body's fighting against it. Getting rid of soda would probably kill you. Probably. Oh no, don't you think I'm big chicken pizza? Oh my god. It's me, Pikeman Pippa. Uh oh. What the hell did I just pop up? Hold on. Oh, Dusty, thank you, Dolores. Just got my 5,000 IU prescription. She's just like me. That picking Dolores, can you play this with Tenma? But, but I'm already at the end. Rest on like, like, um, thank you, come be proud of you. But, um, wait, I was gonna do something and I, oh, I was gonna unmute the game because I think it's muted. It is muted. There we go. Ah, my chest feels so weird. Bob, Bobby's in the thing, gonna be so the gonna be the Can you get the ending twice? I mean, I guess I could. You're not going to be Dizzy sick too? Did you do that, Pippa? I did not. <gasps> I went to the dentist, chat. And, um... We... We saw the endings, right? Yeah, okay. What? What? Five out of seven. What? Five out of seven with the endings. What did the dentist yesterday? For some reason. For some reason. Sorry, I'm going to keep tangenting. You know, give people time to filter in. Oh, wait, I should make a... I should make like a... Oh, fuck. Whatever. Yep, there we go. So I was taking a screenshot. Like make a Google Live post. Um What was I saying? Oh fuck. Oh I went to the dentist! <laughs> and um Um For some reason for some reason I'm not, I'm like learning about my mouth. When they give me the shot 
on the left hand side of my mouth, on the bottom left hand side of my jaw, it hurts like a motherfucker. But it like numbs it completely. You know? But then when I get a shot on the bottom right hand side of my jaw, like my right, it like doesn't hurt anywhere near as bad when they're actually giving me the shot. But, like, it doesn't get rid of all the pain when they're actually working on it. <laughs> like, when they're actually working on my teeth, it's like... There's still, like, that... ...little stinging sensation, and then when they... When, when they got more towards the end... ...when they were working on... ...um... ...like, filling in the cavities and stuff, when they were doing, like, the curing and stuff, it... ...it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad, I started crying. <laughs> Ah, if you still feel the stinging, they might have to add more. They they tried adding more. They tried. Like he's a he's a very competent dentist. Like I, I I trust that he like applied the correct amount and everything, and he did try applying more, but it's just like for some reason the right hand the right hand bottom right hand corner of my mouth just doesn't it just doesn't 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 like the anesthetic. I think it's just the nerves in your mouth, yeah. I, I don't know, I don't know, like, why it works that way, but... I guess your nerves are, they are strange, I guess so. I don't know, like, what would lead to that. They just said that sometimes, you know, your nerves are just... Like, your your nerves are never symmetrical, you know, just like the rest of your body, it's gonna be, it's, it's always gonna be, like, a little bit different, you know? Or it can be very different. Um... I saw I got a stream elements, no, no. I missed it. Hold on. It just happens sometimes. It just happens sometimes! Okay, log in with YouTube. Ah! Maybe your nerves are a bit deeper... ...than they normally inject on that side? I don't know. I don't know, Chief! You know what I do now? Oh. You know what I do now? Book zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kiki Zulu, thank you for the don't know. My little moldy little sister can't be this cute. Proud of you for fighting through. You'll make it. Thank you, thank you. And I missed a bunch of super chats. I missed a lot of super chats, actually. Uh, oh jeez. Um, tell some thank you for three, three, three. Woo! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Uh, tears a little sucks. Thank you, thank you. One whole year. The rep? You, do you have it? Oh my god! Thank you, thank you! Nice thing, I'm big, 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 thank you! Be Peppa, best base VTuber for finishing this funny game while most VTubers won't touch this game with a 10 foot pole, but that's why I love you sometimes! Well, thank you, thank you! Um. Uh, no, it's amazing! If my daughter's been watching you at work, your streams are super entertaining! My favorite VTuber for sure! Big love from England! Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Discord! You still get notifications even when people delete their messages. So... I, I, she ended up saying the pings, I guess. And... Of, of my deleted messages. Most awkward rabbit. Well... And she, and she sent me a bunch of question marks and I was like, I'm sorry if I upset you! And she was like, no, no, no. And then she explained and I felt like a dumbass. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in a great place mentally, chat. Okay, I fucking panicked. All right, listen. It's fine. It's fine. We talked. We talked. I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> but I got, I got my hair out. I was like, I'll send it to members only, chat. And then, and then that little mitigated a little bit. And then people started spamming membership donations and stuff. Which, thank you. But... I gotta say, back-to-back -back dentist and doctor trips are taking a little bit of a toll on my mental health. I I know I know the saying is it's gotta get worse before it gets better. But like Why does why does improving feel bad, chat? Why does why why does improving feel bad? You're getting them out of the way though. Yeah, it's just this uh, uh, Ordinator thing gonna be Coke Zero over Diet Coke over sugar cane soda you'll get used to the aspartame thing. Thanks for six months, I've enjoyed every second of it. Pebble Law! Thank you, Bardenator! Thank you, thank you, thank you! It's supposed to be hard. It's stupid. Uh, the mold is fighting back. No pain, no gain is very real. No pain, no gain is very real. It feels better later and it lasts. Oh, they aren't bothering the doors. If they were normal, they wouldn't be phase girls. It feels bad because it's different and everything is up in the air. Yeah, I watch Fallon Taylor. Maybe you guys know who Fallon Taylor is. Does anybody in chat know her? Uh, Machiavelli thing, on BB. Improvement at first feels bad, but it will feel better eventually. Uh, comfy chair thing for doors. At this rate, you'll be one of those freaks that enjoys running! Uh... JG dog thing with the uh, fud doors. Improving his change. Change is weird, strange, and uncomfortable, but it's worth it if the change is good. Friend how's the thing? I'm big, big, big. No, nobody knows. Nobody knows her. Okay, well she's a she's a uh, a famous barrel racer. Um, and she. I don't want to say recently. I think this was actually like a couple months ago. But I thought back to some of, some of her words like res like resignate uh, re 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 resonated. With me a bit. A what racer? A barrel racer. It's a it's a rodeo sport. It's it's equestrian stuff, chat. Anyways, whatever. Um I can I can I can show you at some point. But um She was she she was talking about how um change feels bad because oh fuck, I forget what exact word she used. I forget the exact word she used. It was so eloquent the way that she said it. Man, it was so nice the way she said it. Now I'm going to butcher it. But she basically said something along the lines of change is good, but change feels bad because we don't like change. But that's when you know the change is good because it makes you feel bad. Something like that. Or changing for the better. Changing for the better feels bad because we don't like change. But that's when you know it's a change for the good. Wow, very deep. She said it a lot better. She said it a lot better. Baxter thing for doors. I'm glad you're around there, but I hope you keep improving. Don't like... Don't like... Take the way I said that as like, that's the way she said it. Because that's not the way she said it. Don't need the gunslinger thing for doors. You need to face yourself. That's why you feel bad. It's always darkest before the dawn or some crap like that. Yeah. Uh, but they're crazy. We're the 333. Don't worry about feeling my hair. You're doing great and you'll be stronger once it's all said and done. Keep it up and take it easy when you need to. Pip a Thank you. Thank you. Jim Jimison, thinking we're the 556, still proud. You went to the doctor, praying that medication clears everything up and you feel 300% better. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Hoist, thinking we're 10 dollars. I can relate to your nerve issue. I had a cavity filled in the upper left. The dentist missed the nerve three times. Then he, we went ahead without anesthetic. It felt like a cold tornado in there. Oh, God. My entire mouth is so fucking sensitive from these back to back dentist trips, chat. My whole mouth hurts. Cause it's like... It takes... It takes a while... To adjust. 
Because I have, I have so fucking many feelings. Does talking hurt? Um, a little bit today, but that's mostly just because my throat's sore. Uh, Tenzin Train, thank you for Lord's Pippa. Hello, Sopa. We're so proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Ling Lang, I'm be seven months of old. Worth it. That company gaming thing with $5. Up, Doc. Shut up. Boarding your doors. Nose breathing good. Ah! But, um... Yeah, my mouth... My mouth fucking hurts, man. My mouth fucking hurts. I, there is no comfortable place to chew food in my mouth anymore. Not that there ever was, because, like... I had cavities everywhere, so chewing anywhere pretty much hurt. But there were, like, places that hurt less. But now everything hurts a lot. And everything is very sensitive to cold. Ah! Porridge. Yeah. Soup good? I've been eating so much soup. God bless Chick-fil-A chicken noodle soup. No, with Merkel Hopper thing with Dolores. Try communicating in sign language if it hurts. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Brush your teeth, chat. Yeah, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, chat. Ah. Uh, root canal will fix that? We'll see. Wait, they have soup? Yep. You can get a bowl of chicken noodle soup. It's really good. Gabriel Navarro, thank you Good to see you taking care of your health. Right now must be a giant pain, but it'll pay off in the future. Yeah! Yeah. Uh, Kelvin Riva, thank you for the five dollars. Pippa, I need you. I need you now! By the way, my name isn't Chat. It's Kevin. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> um... Alright, let's get to the game. Let's get to the game. Will the intro funny play? When a girl tells her story, Fuck only to be lab. told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. This gives you a little recap. Oh wow! Change your warning. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch. My dad shot himself. My life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I like talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at three in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem: mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Uh, Daniel Sherling, my daughter, so I went to the dentist. Tangent, tangent, tangent. Hope you feel better. Obviously, don't push yourself too hard. We're proud of you and appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you're on time. Sherling, with so so teaspoon this. of honey will help that sore throat. All I said I hate was honey. high. I wish I was high. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? Okay, do we what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night. I think we can skip this. Accidentally took one of my right? brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? Maybe I don't know, I don't know. like oxy or morphine or something. They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas nothing. Come, big, big, big. Do pills even look the same? Anyway, so she so won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. I'm telling you, God, God is just like us, for real, for real. Can you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? Hold on, I'll make a poll. That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh... Nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. It's you fine either way. It, it's not even, like, games. It, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! I think this part is new. It's not new. You guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. I have to are skip what skip I've again? seen. What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm going to go insane. Winning? Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're going to miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So All where right. are we even going? Book people say skip. Well, guess what? In the time it took for you guys to vote, this happened. That's it, Lady Dolores. Crispin is actually annoying. Please skip. <laughs> okay, but we'll skip, um, we'll skip, uh, dialogue we've already, we've already seen now. I'll use a little, little intro to the game. Um, I think we have all the mall endings already, right? 
Three? You think we should hang out at home? You... You wanna watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you gonna do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. Okay, we've what got, are we, we doing with this? And don't say sobriety. Okay, we've smoked cigarettes indoors. We can do a line of mom's pills. I think this is new, right? We haven't done this one. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What are we gonna do? Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after you every divorce, and they Kristen keep giving Fenn. her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. What she the should fuck? get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom genes, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. You like him? Why does it hit so fast when you start it? Fuck. Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes Crispin like an hour sucks. when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Fuck? How does your mom function like this? <laughs> she doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. <gasps> Holy shit, Chet! I'm sorry to interrupt, but the fucking, uh, app -ap episode or whatever the fuck, Chet? Holy shit! I went to go pick that shit up. I have not taken it yet, by the way. I'm too nervous. But I went to go pick that shit up. Bro, it was $700. $700. The fucking pharmacist looked at that and she was like, uh, I'll be right back. And she fucking left and she came back and she was like, here you go. I adjusted the price for you. Oh, I don't know what the fuck she did, but it was like a $680 discount. I have a picture of it. I have a picture. I got to show you guys sometime. It's like, a, it's like a $680 discount, whatever the fuck she did. All right? And I was using good RX too. Like even with good RX prices, it was still a ridiculous amount of fucking money. Yeah, based pharmacist, based pharmacist. I don't know what the fuck they did. A schizo discount. First hit is free. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's probably true though. <laughs> It won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Just like, OD on depression pills. Shit, it's really hitting now. Oh yeah, I feel it too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You wanna watch Mythbusters now? Speaking of which, is it just me or is it kind of insane? Like, I, I know, like, I, like I, there's gotta be, like, a better system in place, right? Like, there's gotta be, like, a better way to handle, like, prescription depression medication. Because are we, are we just, like, conveniently ignoring the fact as a society that, like, depressed people usually want to fucking kill themselves? And a really easy way to kill yourself is to just take your entire fucking bottle of antidepressants? Like, that's insane. We can all agree that's insane, right? Like, you're giving somebody something that it, they can just OD on. It doesn't take that much, either. It does not take many antidepressants. I mean, it depends on, like, the prescription strength and shit. But, like... Holy fuck! Honor system and all that. Ah, okay. Ship Ken dating her Dolores, contributing to the Happy Pill Fund. Ken dating her Dolores, Canada seems to have figured it out. Mm. Oh, it's a feature, not a bug! Oh my god, same within Canada. And it's, it's all part of population control, don't worry about it. I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. We Thanks for the tip, it wasn't a tip! Why the fuck do you want to watch Mythbusters so bad? Uh, I don't know, it's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. 
You want to try a mystery pill? I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viked up. You're good. All right, fuck it. Line it up. Oh my god, she sounds so much like Lumi here. Me does in the No boys. No breath. Good? Oh my god. No oh my god. Gosh, what did I do? This is the worst. I don't feel oh. anything. Oh, really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for beta lock. A fucking beta, beta lock. It should say what it's for, right? I could milk it in those. Blame JFK for, for high blood silence. pressure or tightness of chest. You had me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I like deflating in my own body. How wound up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? This is making I think me anxious. You're missing the point of the mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? What? I don't think the difference just between needs... meds and poisonous dosage. One pill left. Just gotta get up these stairs. The what? women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh shit, hey mom. We're both um, gonna die? We were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. I don't have time for excuses. Just where's ah! my beta lock? Beta lock. Um, what do you need that for? I feel like I can't I'm keep my headphones on. Why is my the bottle empty? My headphones are by the way. You guys can't oh, see God. them. Oh uh, God, Jekka is having a heart attack too. Oh God. Everything's getting dark. Call 911. If I, okay, if mom. I keep the headphones mom. far enough away. Who the fuck? Mom, look, I can hear just the, the talking. We killed their mother. We killed their mother. I can't do heartbeat sounds. So, how was the funeral? Oh what my god, expected? we killed her. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Oh, weird. That's somehow not the most like shocking you? thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout. Oh yeah, on All you. the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Because you can never replace her with money? No, no well, there's much. a fucking trust fund, and I can't touch it till I'm 35. Uh. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to L.A. or anything. Nicole, this might be it's a weird question, cool. but, uh... Did you cry at all after your mom died? No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. I am. Not beta Something lock. other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Hmm. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this going to be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Can it be both? Ah! Oh. I'm going to class. Where are you headed, Nicole? Ah! ADA, the combination of inhaled nitrous oxide and oxygen, is safe and effective means of managing pain and anxiety and dentistry, i.e. prescription whippets. Oh my fucking god, shut up. Okay, chat, what do I do? Skip? Should we save here? Now that our mother's dead? Oh my god, what are all these other saves? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, one? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right He's now. He's right this! Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who? Extra thing, one dollar. Pippa is my medicine. I want to OD. One. Who? We already did commit charity fraud. Fraud. It takes us. It takes us to to a specific um area where we sell. Um. We'll say. Wait, wait, wait. What if we? Wait, how do we do the commit charity fraud thing if we don't have the the coke? Dark blue moon thing and Dolores, I love how you say two tips. Before we've done both. Yeah, we've done both. But like last time, in order to commit charity fraud, we had like a, a thing of cocaine. 
Oh wait, we skipped past the coke. Oh, okay. So it already happened. You have it, you just skipped it. Okay. About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. When is the gate I've out? I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten hmm. out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? This doesn't well, change with the dead I mom. I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started... Okay, let's skip through. Let's skip through. This is... Wait. Would you... Do you like girls too? Okay, yeah, we've done... We've done all this. We've done all this. Okay, um... Um... Okay, let's maybe continue off of something? We never did do something... ...evil with the essay, did we? Thank you, Monty. My Lord, the sequel is so good. Humor. But I don't like how they always write Nicole to be the worst person in every scenario. Lacks nuance. I don't think she's the worst person in every scenario. The other girl had us... had us commit fucking... ...suicide. Like, double suicide. Look up the tree. Fuck drawing, actually draw? Did we, what if we do this as well? I don't remember. Hold on, let's do this. Do something evil. I kind of wanna, but I just can't right now. I told you the papers don't need to be good. They just need to be done. Devil's thing to yeah, My mom died. Let's go. Be good to me. What? So you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting? I'm plotting heavy. I want to write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. And when push comes to shove, I'm gonna look those up the route. biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rap music too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, shit. Whoa. Yeah, she always says it as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to class. I need to do some Mark research. Really singing, okay, well, oh my well, god. Yes, anyway. we made a cry. Do you wanna hang out, though? You know, yeah, come over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not gonna bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. Me tells him nothing. My Lord's on Mesa. Hold on. Amazed that her entire mom died, but didn't even warrant altered endings. Shows how much Becky cared, I guess. Uh, bad co company gaming thing, Lars, but you can't say it. What's up, Doc? Uh, what's up, Doc? Are we having I can't trouble do over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? That's pretty cool. Are you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Not a big fan, mad. huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh, so what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows? Studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh. She works at the deli? I wasn't asking, but alright. You don't want to hear what happened? I thought she was a fucking real good. estate agent Nicole, or something. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. Sausage. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. 
You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now? And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You wanna meet her? I'd love to. Cool, because she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you want to meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God, every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Just take it off. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not going to introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What? I can't even know her name. Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. The fuck was all that? Well, summer's angel dollars. Women for coins are not wor what worth the fruit of their loins. It was quiet for five minutes. I'm shocked. I didn't want to ruin the moment. They're having a back and forth. I was I was holding it in. Hey, mom, don't give a fuck about your childhood friendships. Oh my God. With friends like these, Dick is the best character in the game on pure virtue of being almost passingly normal. Jekka, Jekka is surprisingly normal compared to everybody else. That's a scam, right? I have no idea. United Police Fund? What the fuck is that? What is United Police Fund, chat? Oh, there is no United Police Association? Almost? I don't know. Cop charity? Fund the police? Have I heard of it? It was all a lie. Oh, okay. Are you gonna see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the Jesus other, Christ, other Jekka! one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. We we're just talking about how she's, like, normal, nice and shit compared to everybody else. Yeah. So are you gonna see it? No, ah. why would they make a romance starring ugly people? <laughs> it's like different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No, Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jekka said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are, are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Ah. Fuck you guys. Whores. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? Oh my god. No, she's pretty entertaining. She's real, she's Entertaining loyal. like Britney Spears in 1999? These hoes are like loyal. Britney Spears now. Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did they end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it. 
Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. Jesus so, Christ. You think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her fired. Yeah, but you're going to write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have have that? Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. What? Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? What the fuck? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving head isn't a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. What the fuck? Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay. Okay, chat. This is gonna be like a really dumb question, maybe? But... Is... Like, if you read, like... Mein Kampf or whatever at like a diner, like in a public place. Is that not like a, like, kind of like a hate crime? Kind of? Is that like... Would people assume that like... <laughs> would people assume that like you're doing it like for intellectual reasons? Like, like a report on it or whatever? Or would they... Like... I don't know. Who brings Mein Kampf in public? <laughs> Rock of Sock comes in, Brother Lord. Nicole jokes on you. I was pretending to be racist. Uh, the Burdenator thing, Dolores. <laughs> yeah. I like hearing Dolores. Depends on what country you're in. Who speaks in Dolores? Shake your head so they know you disagree with it. Okay, okay, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm just like wondering, like, is there like a social situation? Like, what, what is the social situation around reading Mein Kampf in public? King of Sussing will be- Not that, like, I'm- I want to do it or anything. I don't go in public. And, and I don't want to read Mein Kampf. King of Sussing will be- No, it's fine to say you're Jewish to confuse them. Jesus Christ. This venom thing will be illegal, but you'll get the side eye. Bahamut thing or doors. I really thought Jacob was the next one. We were better than the 333. Six, get on CS Go. Kaluid's helping, they're Dolores. You get arrested in Germany? Here? No. Nicholas J.M., they're Dolores. That's why you get the Kindle PDF version. Yeah, if there's any- if there's any justification for e-readers instead of physical books, it's that people can't judge you in public. And I saw, like, this one post on Twitter where somebody was making fun of somebody else for reading a book on a bus. And it's like, man, another- like, is it- maybe- maybe- is this big Kindle? Is this big e-book reader propaganda? Like, are they gonna start bullying people in public for, for reading physical books in order to get people to use e-readers? So people just assume you're playing Subway Surfers instead of... Instead of reading? Cheeky Squirrel! Ding, Dolores. Someone called Daddy Jim would bring out Mein Kampf. What? Uh, he's a little thing around the 15,000... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hello, Chicken Pizza! How's your day? Maybe good? You sound so yummy today. What? 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 My name's not Chicken Pizza! It's Pipkin Pippa! Uh, Malcolm Lang, they were the five dollars. Actually, I did read that book on Pride Day on a Sydney train. I didn't know I was reading to win an argument. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Oh, I have like a little. Oh god, hold on, my eyes are burning! Ah! My eyes are burning! I'm sorry, hold on! Ow! Ow! I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you could get into an, a hypothetical argument with somebody and you could get them, you could, you could be arguing about like Mein Kampf or whatever 
and you could be like, well, cite your source. And they'd be like, uh, page nine. And then you'd be like, oh, so what? You're reading Mein Kampf? What are you, a racist? And then you win the argument. Data radio thing, $10. Yes, now it is. Ironically, people published a direct translation in the 30s and got sued. As the Nazis wanted to publish an edited English version? What? Pinter than Gumpy B, just asking for a friend. No! Tony Sire than Gumpy B. Imagine it's similar to walking around with a shirt that has the N word on it. No, I don't think it is. My little CD there indoors. I want to have the ADL. Well, no, stop it. Anyways. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rapper. Oh my god. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the ju hip hop artists. Oh my fucking if god! You could. Oh my even god! Call them that. Oh my fucking god! This paper's gonna be so fucking easy. Nicole, I didn't know you were in AP history. Oh my huh? god! No, I'm not in AP history. Then why are you reading Mein Kampf? I'm racist now. <laughs> oh, all right. Man, R is cool about anything. As long as you're not homophobic, I guess. Oh, hey, hey, That's what's up? Dude. What the fuck do you want? What? Oh, no, my God. nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this oh my like God. the usual thing for you? Reading in Oculate public? Thing sure. That was yeah, a very Reddit yeah. argument, like so the pop star thing. There? It was gonna be funny, motherfucker! Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh -huh. What? What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh... Like, really good themes in a story. Oh, my Big fucking god. The message in Mein Kampf? Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Oh, my god. Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. True! Uh, that means it's super good, then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So, can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So, can I sit with you? Oh my god. Why did he block my Oh my up? fucking god, Chad. It's so real. It's so real, Chad. What the fuck? I don't want to the $10, but fact, James Lindsay at all literally did this in Social Squared Hoax, except. What? What? What the fuck? Lawrence, don't know anything for There was actually a fraudulent research paper that either was nearly. was Polish written about this. Yeah, oh my fucking god. Potato radio thing with the $20, ironically. Actually have it. So many people know about this! Duped academic journal publishes rewrite of Mein Kampf as feminist manifesto to highlight the alleged intellectual bias in university. Grievance study programs. Jesus fucking Christ. You replaced Yahtzee with men? Then wouldn't it be... If he rewrote Mein Kampf and replaced the Nazis with men... Then wouldn't he be shitting on women in the book? In the rewrite? Wouldn't it be the other way around? Yeah, okay, yeah, it was the other way around. Leandro Martinez, thank you for the $500. Is the only German... Oh my god. Oh my god. Because you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. What? Be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Hold on, Pippa, there was a girl in my middle school class that thought Hitler wrote the Bible. Bro, one time, one time. <clears throat> okay, this was, this was at the school that I was only at for like two weeks. Like I had gone to this school before, but then I went back later for like two weeks. And our task was to name as many countries as a class as possible. Okay. Multiple people said Europe. And this one girl said Asia. And the teacher was like, oh, no, close. Asia is a continent. Can you name any countries that might be in Asia? And she was like, oh, uh, China? And he was like, yes. And then she was like, uh, France? And he was like, no. It was the funniest shit I ever seen, Chet! It was the funniest shit I ever fucking seen! Somebody else listed Paris! God, I feel stupid, Chet, but I feel so much better knowing there's other people way more fucking stupid than I am! Holy fuck! 
Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler? Hold on, what grade were you in? Um... This would have been... Oh, fuck. I don't remember. I don't... I don't know. It was high school. Eighth grade? No, no, it was high school. Um... This was... After, like... God, this feels so long ago now. I, I need to, like, write down an exact timeline. Um... This was a... <sighs> this was after the two... Two-ish years of, like, being a neat. So it would have been... What is that? 9, 10... 11th grade? But I can't remember if I was... With, like, freshmen, because, like, I didn't have any credits, because I had done, like, neat stuff. <coughs> um... I think, I think I was in 11th grade classes. I think it was, I think it was 11th grade. Nate hey, Simpleton, Dolores, be honest, you answered Paris, didn't you? No, but I did answer Australia, and then somebody else was like, That's a continent, you idiot! And I was like, ah. and then the teacher was like, no, actually, Pippa's right. It's a country and a continent. And I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking murder you. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to find your car and I'm going to stab your fucking tires, you jackass. <sighs> Isn't it also a country? Yes, but I got really self-conscious when that person did that. There was another time that happened to me where I was the only one in class who raised my hand. <laughs> The teacher was talking about, um... Oh, fuck. I don't remember. Um, the teacher held up, like, a feather and was like, Is this a, um... <coughs> is this a... Is this a... 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 Uh... Bio... Something? I can't remember. It was talking about the differences between, um, material that has, like... That is part of a living thing, or has come from a living thing. But the teacher hadn't told us... It was an ecology course. And the teacher hadn't told us about the, um... The part where... The... The term... Organic versus inorganic. Yeah! Organic versus inorganic! During an ecology course. But I was, like, really into ecology. When we were taking this course. So, like, I had done a bunch of research and stuff on my own time. So I knew the answer would be organic. So when the teacher, um was asking people, like, I raised my hand, and nobody else raised our raised their hands, because the way that she had explained it was basically that a living thing is organic and a non-living thing is inorganic. But the, the actual definition of organic is that, like it, like, it comes from something organic as well. Like, it, like it, 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 it... Anyways. So I raised my hand, but I was the only fucking person that raised my hand. And... The, the girl beside me, who was one of my bullies, but... I, I, like, I was stuck at this table with these two fucking girls that fucking hated me. But anyways... She like... She was like, pulling on my arm, like saying, No, no, Pippa, put your hand down, stupid. And... I got so self-conscious, but fuck you, dumb bitch! I got the answer right! Teacher was like, that's right, Pippa! This is- A feather is an example of organic mad uh, material, or whatever the fuck. And I felt so fucking proud of you. I, f I felt so fucking proud of myself, chat. I felt, oh my god. <laughs> uh, hoist in there, Dolores. PSA window units can get black mold, black spots in the mold. Clean your mold, people. It can kill you if you don't do so. <laughs> Birds mentioned. Birds mentioned! One joke man thing, Dolores. Pepper's farm rabbit remembers and rants about the old days, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my chest hurts. Hold on. <clears throat> Just down throat. See, night they were the. My brain is scrambled. I'm mixing up words. The scene I named Window is I remember drawing the windmill of peace on my hand after seeing it on the main character weapon from Bleach. That was a fun day in middle school. Oh no. <laughs> what was this play? F. F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. Why not? Poetry is pretty gay. <clears throat> I remember having to do reports on poetry. Po 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 Poetry! I had to do reports on poetry, and, um... 
I was I was testing the limits of what I could get away with. So Um, what I did is I did reports on Alistair Crowley's, um, or wait, was it Alistair Crowley or that LeVay guy? I don't remember. It was on, it was on, um, I don't know, one of them wrote a, wrote a poem about Thoth, like Egyptian gods and how they were like gay for each other. And I was like, this would be a fucking hilarious report. Like, what are you gonna do? What am I gonna... What are you gonna do? You gonna... Am I gonna get in trouble? You said to do a fucking poetry report, asshole. This is a... This is... Listen. What are you, what are you, this is like... This is like a piece of, like... Revered poetry or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Egyptian Yowie yeah, report. I did an Egyptian Yowie yeah, report. <coughs> More than flames in Dolores. You okay, Pippa? Maybe a cup of tea. Tea would be nice. But, um... The teacher didn't even bat an eye. The teacher didn't even bat a fucking eye. Yeah, well, they didn't realize they named the entire sexuality after a gay poet, ho. <laughs> Wasn't there the thing about, like... Um... <clears throat> was it, like, in France or something? Lesbians writing letters to each other in poetry? So that way... Like, they wouldn't get in trouble or some shit? I don't fucking remember. I'll give you this stink piece, motherfucker. How do you fail a paper in remedial <sighs> English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Poetry Max. Poetry gay. Yeah, and MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! D! <laughs> are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D in remedial? You're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh-huh. <laughs> A. A. <gasps> a as in A or the loud at, or like the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. I tried getting A pluses in school. <clears throat> I tried getting A pluses in school, and I only ever managed to do it in like science classes, because I would do a shit ton of extra work. Because for some reason, science class is, like, the only class where you can, like, turn in extra shit. <clears throat> no other- no other classes let you- or, like, what I tried doing anyway, like, they wouldn't let me- They wouldn't let me get anything. It's like... What the fuck? What the fuck? And in English classes, a lot of the times, they won't even accept your papers or whatever if it's too long. Like, I don't- I don't know why science is the only one where it's like, yeah, yeah, here you go. Here you go. Oh, you wanna do extra work? Easy. Here you go. Are they the only ones that actually, like, enjoy their field or whatever? I don't know. Sergeant Buck, they were in front of the <clears throat> in eighth grade class with a blonde chick that tried to microwave a granola bar? Didn't even bother to remove the foil wrapper. Ooh. Ooh, one time... One time, um, I... Put a pot of ramen in the microwave. It made the house smell like fish. Science teachers are usually passionate from my experience. I just don't understand why they're the only ones that accept like extra work. <clears throat> and I don't know how else you get an A plus without without turning in extra work. Like if I can't turn in extra stuff, how can I get like a higher grade? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. They're also the only ones that put, like, extra credit stuff, like, at the bottom of, like, tests and stuff. I'm being smart by getting a perfect on everything. Just being extra. Bribe them. Abyssal tech thing for lower science and history are best. Mmm. I feel weird about history. History stuff is weird, because it's, like, I, I... It doesn't have, like... Like, it all depends on, like, where you read it from, Right? Like, every, every perspective on historical stuff is different, and the only way to get, like... ...a close to objective view on it is to read, like, first-hand sources. But even then, like, first-hand sources aren't gonna be, like, all-encompassing. And then, like, it's still your interpretation of what you're reading. So, old iron bonding or two lies. You must have been out of your head? What? What does she mean? Exactly what Cross Matron said. History has too much subjectivity. Uh, evil men drink things. Dolores, you get an A plus by being a teacher's pet? Ah. Nothing is said in stone other than math. I liked math when it became, like, puzzles. Like, when I could, when I could picture it in my head as, like, a puzzle. <laughs> math was a lot more fun. 
But science was more interesting because it was like... It wasn't just pure numbers like math was, but... It wasn't like... Like, it's still subjective, right? Like, science is not... a be-all, end-all. Right? Like... I know, Reddit tier take, or whatever the fuck, but like, the thing with science is that like, like, people have like, the perspective, or the perception that it's like... Oh, well, there was a research paper about it, so now it's done. Or, oh, well, this is... Uh, said to be this way, so it's done. But yeah, it's ever-evolving. Exactly, exactly, Squishy. It's... You can build upon things, or sometimes, like, our entire perception of stuff changes. Wrong? Girl, I'm not fucking wrong. I'm not wrong! Just whatever the teacher says is true. No! Uh, Tony Sarthi and Dolores history class does its best to ignore cool history. From Hamlinger Dolores, a kid in my bio class licked the dead frog for five dollars. What the fuck? How those do you think? Five dollars, the layout of history class bugged me. Remembering facts was easy, but the amount of writing prompts meant I got docked points for wording. Annoying. That is annoying. Selena Nada, I think the Norse historians now, we need at least 20 different corroborating sources. Ancient historians, a friend of mine told me he had a dream about this battle. There were 30 million warriors. <laughs> Stop getting one guide. I know, I keep getting one guide. I keep getting one guide. It's constantly changing and new things are discovered. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... I don't know. The thing that is annoying about science, though, is it, it feels like... It's kind of like, pay to win, right? Science is kind of like, pay to win. Because big corporations can rig shit however the fuck they want. And then, in order to conduct trials, you have to have the resources to do it. You know, unless you get like grants and shit, but how do you get grants? By, by feeding into narratives that existing entities want proven. Not all the time! Not all the time! There's, there's plenty... There's plenty of things where it's it's more earnest, but I don't know. Highly integrating with Father Science is a method, not an answer. Yeah, science's answers change. The method by which you find them doesn't. People are confusing answers versus method. <laughs> um, then off. Bling, MVP history is cool, Pippa. It has its own gacha game. Oh my god. Welcome, Lightning to Dolores. That's how we had radioactive toothpaste. Cool children thing for Dolores, no one wants to read a 10-page essay by a high schooler written at a high schooler level. Even English professors, especially when it was only supposed to be three. I know, but when you're in high school and you like a subject, you want to write the 10 pages. Jason some reading for Dolores. Awesome, Pip. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, thank you. This be saying for Dolores. Did someone say, one guy? Because I've got more ammo to express my love for Miss Ames and Emily. Fingers fine, by the way. Notebook didn't break it. Oh, okay. I'm glad. For my girl, I'm gonna be in middle school. We learned, we earned, we, we learned three states of matter. Now with plasma, it's four. So all objective, it's open to change. Also, Roman history is best history. This is Roman history the one where everyone's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, look at this nerd in the in the, oh, the, the. It's like it's like the, the hmm, how do I say this? Roman history is like the is like the the meme don for being most popular. That in World War Two. But, um... Uh, Tony Stark, Damon for Dolores. Case in point, food pyramid, but put grains is most important because the study is funded by cereal companies. Same with anti-fat craze from Big Sugar. Yeah! Exactly! Mr. Turner, singer with the Five Dollars, one interesting history. Read the Battle of Castle Itter. Americans and German battalion worked together against the SS a few days before World War II ended. I'll have to look that up. Short thing would be, Rome is cringe! Girl, thing for fun, Dolores, I got called out, so now I need to donate his penance. Still wrong, though. I'm not wrong. You're you're one guying me. Cannibal small causing for Dolores. That's not the kind of science they test you on. Research papers don't change the chemical bonds and physics equations. What are you saying? I can't act thing, Dolores. Pippa, trill noise will give me fuzzies. Uh, James Redding, Dolores, we didn't get frogs in science. We got owl pellets. I feel like owl pellets are a lot more ethical than dissecting frogs. I don't think dissecting frogs is... Okay, cringe woman moment here, but I feel like murdering animals to teach kids about organs and shit is just unethical. Like, there's no, like, it, it, it feels excessive, right? Like, we have the technology to get, like, reusable, like, plastic shit, you know? Like, you don't need to do, like, real organs. Models would be a lot more cost-efficient. 
Uh, bongo bingo tango mango lingo we're becoming the baby seven months and still can't get I still can't one guy Pippa. She hates me. Zelina Nada lingo there's Roman history in the nutshell. Romans. Hmm, this looks like a good place to grow wheat. We should conquer it. They did. <laughs> uh, Crusader, thank you for the um five dollars. I've learned more in depth history from YouTube. YouTubers like Forgotten Weapons and Count Dankula than school. I remember Count Dankula. Before she's kids, anything, my lord. Science is one of the most goofy things where everyone, where everything is impossible until you figure out how to actually do it. At least, think about five dollars. Mongolian history is especially fun. It's just super interesting for about two hundred years, and then meh the rest of the time. Auxiliary character, think about lore. Scientific institutions versus scientific method. Testing stuff is good. Trusting other people doesn't always work so well. Hmm. Joshua Ferdinand, think about lore. What a frog already croaked. Okay, well, how did it croak? Listen, I'm just saying, if you have a shit ton of dead frogs, it's kind of curious that you would have a shit ton of dead frogs, right? Ghost of Golding, Ron Lawrence. In middle school, we dissected a cow eye. I forgot to... Oh, I got to keep the lens! What the fuck? This thing with the two dollars. I wish I was smart enough to one guy Pippa. Data radio thing, Ron Lawrence. But without dissection, how are Tenma and Lumi supposed to win Star Wars? Lumen thing, Ron Lawrence. I can catch a frog from the river for free. Plastic education model will be like $300 since corporals want go those government bucks. Uh, the school supplies the frogs. You don't bring your own frog. You don't, you don't, you don't bring your own frog. It would be cheaper for the schools to buy the plastic models and then have them for like the next 10 years than to keep buying frogs. I'm glad I think the $10, so vivisection only. Plastic models. To so like the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording. Direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician, wise beyond your years. As if, right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Oh, God. Okay, sorry, another tangent. Another tangent. I remember, I remember one of the classes I was in, we had, um... Um, at the end of the year, everything that we turned in... Um, not everything, not everything. Um, uh, we would pick some of, like, the best things in, in our opinions or whatever that we wrote that year. And, um, the teacher would make, like, these little binders. Um, of all the, the class's writings. And I cringed so hard, I did not like being part of that. I, I did not like being part of that. It kind of... Like an offering? No, it's just like a little compilation of, of the writing classes. Like, whatever writings you wanted to submit. And I remember, I remember, this is not a humble brag. This is not a humble brag. It's gonna seem like a humble brag. But I want, I want you to imagine this from the perspective of somebody that really does not like people talking to them, like, in person. Like, the really awkward kid that, like, does not want to, does not want to... Receive any, any attention, right? Like, online attention! That's fun, haha, <laughs> I can disengage from it at any time. But, like, people, people talking to you, giving you attention in, in person, is not comfy. It's not comfy. So! So! After, after they dispersed the stuff, uh, they gave us, like, they gave us, like, the rest of the class period or whatever to just read out, or not read, like, out loud or whatever, but to read, um, everybody's, everybody's stuff. And two of the girls approached me at the end of class and were like, Oh, Pippa, I just want to say, oh, I really liked your writing. Like, oh, that was really good. Blah, 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 blah. And they kept fucking talking, chat. They kept fucking talking. And they were looking me in the eye, chat. They were looking me in the eye and they're talking to, talking to me and they were present by writing. And it's like, I don't even know your fucking name. What am I supposed to say to you? I, I, I write other people's stuff, but let's be honest here. Let's be honest, we all suck. We all suck. None of it's good. Your standards are just low. Stop talking to me. Jesus Christ. I still have... I still have those writings. I still have those. Because those were ones that I typed. 
The watcher thing with Tenmore is, you know, I never thought about dissection experiment morality, but my school had preserved pig fetuses. That's so weird. It's so weird. Like, I can't besides them looking you in the air! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Read them to us, maybe someday. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. It's cringe, it's cringe. Cringe kid writing. Why would they pick the cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. Shut At up, least Salah! Scandals someone Go stream! Themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California, where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? Off topic, but did you know you can buy like shirts and shit that say lifeguard on them? Lucy and Lincoln Pandora's I embraced my inner redneck and chased a deer using a vehicle all while screaming bloody murder at it. It was a fun night. You're fucked up. I do not approve of that. You can, you can just buy stuff that says lifeguard on it. You have one? Yeah, you can just buy those. And go to, like, the beach. You shouldn't. But it'd be kind of funny if somebody started drowning and then somebody was like, Oh, well, your, your shirt says lifeguard on it. And it's like, oh, no, you see, I bought this at Hot Topic. No, Sarah Quilt doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm going to kill myself. Nicole. No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now. What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did would be the main event. Kosher I've been Deli? I excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. I would Jewel Productions and Gumbi like, Pee This isn't a beach, this is a bathroom. Sorry. Could actually choke her. I love right that clip. This way, here's our star students. Hey, oh, we need you with the sandwich trays. Looks like ah, my boss needs the, me the to sandwich. Good luck, sweetie. Try it on the beach. Board members, I'm scared of you. You could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right. And as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper, we think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right, so this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. Why are we doing I'm this in the cafeteria? I'm all too familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these sexless marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got tempo at three o'clock. <clears throat> hey, at the three o'clock! As a teen, yeah. I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and oh, narrow-mindedness no. of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Oh my fucking Lil god. Lil Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre owns itself to be a foreign people, yet even here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe what? that- What? this again? Uh-oh. Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zion- What? <laughs> Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national consciousness of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers again slyly dupe the dumb masses of- Politics are weird. Like, really fucking weird. Like, everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom. 
everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. What? You can't make this shit up. What the fuck? itself was a problem, too, because every guy watches South Park, and Jews been, like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now I don't know. I think Gay's up there. A mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me. Just from what I've seen I've of never South Park, been more satisfied. Face, not face, chat. Stop it. Okay, Rossler's special offer. Hi, if you're receiving this text, it means you were selected for the Rossler's Kosher Deli Sweepstakes. A chance to win your very own free catering at any event you would like. Events excluded from this offer are schools, political rallies, neo-Nazi gatherings, comic book conventions, same thing, we know, KKK meetings, book clubs, discussing Mein Kampf, and any other anti-Semitic events or assembly. We hope you understand. Good luck, contestant! Okay. I'm guessing it could be. He had a hell of a run. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, Chad, dumb question. What does kosher actually mean? It's like no, no, like, no pork? Is it no pork? I don't know, Chad. It's a diet. Oh, blessed by a rabbi? Oh, shellfish and pork. Kosher means that it's clean. It was blessed? How does that work? Like, with kosher delis, do they, like, have, like, a rabbi? Or, wait. It wouldn't be, like, efficient to have, like, a rabbi bless, like, everything individually, right? Would it be, like, rabbi, like, blesses, like, the cow before you kill it? How does that work? Oh, they do! Yes, they bless the meat! Ah. Huh. Cause I know, like, kosher salt! Like, that's like... Like, I've seen that. Just Google it. Look it up. I'll look it up later. Uh, law pouting, but Lord, look up rabbis with flamethrowers for kosher- What? I don't know if this is like a like a dog whistle or something serious. Hmm. Pepperoni pizza, thank you for the five dollars. No pork, no dairy. No dairy. What? No dairy. And no meat in the same with the same meal. Stuff has to be prepared in certain ways and blessed by a rabbi. What? Mary and Redder, thank you for the ten dollars. Kosher is many things. The summary is that according to Jewish law, but even what constitutes Jewish dietary law depends on which community of Jews you're talking about. Oh. It's more nuanced than that. Okay. Oh, dairy and meat in the same meal is a no no, but dairy is fine. Oh. No cheesesteak sucks to be you guys. Cheesesteak isn't very good anyways. Um Okay, now we're just missing one ending, I think. Um... This, like... What the fuck? You take that back? No. No, I don't think I will! I used to get the cheesesteak stuff from the dollar store. It's not very good. It's not very good. Came in like a red box or something. Cobalt Prime, thank you for $5. Kosher? A food? Or premises in which food is sold, cooked, or eating? Satisfying the requirements of Jewish law. The dollar store- The dollar store has a lot of good shit chat. Dollar store hot pockets go hard. Dollar store pizza pockets? Or pizza rolls? The tiny- The tiny- The- The bit- The- 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 the little TV dinner that comes with the corn and the mashed potatoes? Delicious. 
Um... There's like a guide, but it lists all the endings as like... Ending underscore 0131, which I don't know what that means. James Jameson, what noise have you seen? Orthodox priest blessing AKs? Same concept? What? You can have like a kosher AK? Two speeds, same fun noise. Okay, maybe feeling a little conflicted about wishing Miss Ames to do unholy things to my helpless body. I messed up, but I still have standards. I don't believe you. No, you cannot have kosher AK. Okay, well, what is it called then when like a rabbi just blesses something? Like, what would be, like, the point of, like, blessing a... Like, an AK? Is it just, like, a morale thing? Just because it's blessed? Someone says that? I don't fucking know. Too good they can do I have why Pippa rabbits are not kosher. What kind of based? Based not eating rabbit people. We tell them the twenty dollars. Kosher means clean in Hebrew. Basically, in Jewish religion, they eat food that isn't contaminated or toxic. Look up how kosher salt is made compared to other salts. Some places only eat dairy if the cow was never stressed. Hmm. Holy damage! Shut up. I saw everything on one twenty-one. What if instead of rappers, you replace the mentions with V twitters? No, no, we're not editing Mein Kampf to be about people we don't like. Chat. Um... Possible 9 re-up guides. Let's see here. Um... Potato radio thing for $5. Exodus 2319, which reads, Do not cook a young goat in its mother's milk became no cheeseburger or cheese steak. Also can't eat scavenger. A leaf thing for $5. There's someone who was born Muslim but drinks and eats pork now. There's the door I'll never close in life again. Lamal. Okay. I don't... I don't... I don't see any guides... ...for like the different endings. So I think we're just gonna have to wing it. What if we do this one and we say... What did we do? Remember when he beats the thing with Dolores? I'm, I, I, I don't know. I've never seen that word before, so I'm scared to say. Actually, draw? This is gonna suck ass. Yeah... I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time? That's not negative, it's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if you're bad at giving effort. So there's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch The Office. The Office? The TV show? Yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. You'll love it. Hey, oh. I like The Office. So yeah, why do we have to draw and paint? It's our last year You're of high school. Too late, Pippa. Never too Can I get Pippa reading the book and putting it on Victor's? No! You don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing, or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, Fucking do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, and Nicole, can I trust you? We should have played this a day earlier. Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why not join her? Because she wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating? Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. What? Why would you put any of this on MySpace? Online networking is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Yeah, that only Welcome works for musicians. Nicole. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do your little baby drawing, okay? To the best of your ability? Oh yeah, you'll see. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. I'm so glad I'm not in it. Do you like drawing or whatever? No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? I just want to say, chat, I just want to say. If somebody made like a new version of old MySpace and made it like phone compatible, like it had a phone app right out of the gate, and waited to launch it for the next time Twitter does something really fucking stupid. 
I bet it would take off so hard. Uh, Slane, thank you for the $10! Twitter, I can't believe you played the wizard game. Pippa plays a game... Okay, okay, come on. Then turn thing into Dolores, Pippa MySpace win! Mango Mingo Tango Mango thing for Dolores. Oh, it's a battle rifle. Basically an AK pattern rifle by using NATO ammunition. We're not always trying to get you cancelled, Pippa. Okay, well how am I supposed to now? They do, it's still called MySpace. Yeah, but new MySpace is just like for music and shit. It's not like a fun platform where you can customize your profile page and shit. MySpace has been has been streamlined and stuff. There's like MySpace alternatives out there that like recreate old MySpace, but like nobody uses them. Anti annihilator thing for Loris. Oh no, Jeffrey's in his Punisher shirt. Every kid there should be running right now. Have you guys seen those? Have you guys seen those like those MySpace recreation sites? E e no, cool. I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? God, oh. I drew for an hour, and then in two days, I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? I don't, can or you do name you not them? like Mr. No. Lori? Uh, both? Oh, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom, because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff, like his house foreclosing, and his wife cheating on him, and- Wait, wait, wait. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell you. No, come on. I can't. Come on, Jeffrey. Don't you want to make me happy? Uh, yeah. So you go ahead and tell me, okay? It was the UPS man! Oh my Holy god! Shit. What? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? I think me? UPS men get paid uh, better. Okay, I trust you. Thank you. She's fucking down? Yeah, he's pathetic, right? Ah. What if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? What is this so route? Bitches. Who invited you? Me, motherfucker. You guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Oh, I love is the fair! 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. Yeah, it you is! Live, like a year where rape was legal. No. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. What but do you mean? shut up! There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, what? Don't be lame right now. Why Crispin, are you still the fuck here? Up. Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to like... He, he was kind of going at you. We're not going to fuck either of you. Oh, uh, whatever then. Yeah, no. Um, I want to go to the fair. I literally do that every week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just oh, every bad. commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. For the gay channel, it's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Uh, Yubbles and Dolores, I confirm they get paid better than actual teachers. There was that show where it was like, it's, it was called like, uh, uh, oh fuck, I don't remember. But it was about Tila Tequila. Do you remember her? It was about her. And it was her dating show. And the whole, like, gimmick about it was that it was, like, the first dating show where the, the person who is doing the dating is bisexual. And the, uh, so that means that not only, not only are there male contestants, but also, wow, there's female contestants. And apparently, apparently, um, I guess, I guess the, um, get more of my space stuff, get more of my space stuff. Um, I guess like the, like during the dating show, uh, Tila Tequila, she actually really liked one of the girls and was trying to, like, like wanted to, wanted, wanted like her to win, right? I guess it's like The Bachelor or something. I've never seen The Bachelor, so I'm going off of secondhand knowledge of how it works. But it's like, like you eliminate the guests and stuff, right? And then uh, the other contestants and then like at the end, like you pick one, right? So, Tila Tequila, she wanted to pick the girl. And the, the, I guess like the producers and stuff were like, No. No. The dating show worked. Yeah, I guess the dating show like actually worked. She actually, she actually wanted to date 
one of the girls. But the producers were like, no, no, you can't do that. It'll fuck up the ratings. Which is just such a such an interesting thing. Cause it's like the whole marketing for the show was like, whoa. Gay? But then they wouldn't they wouldn't allow the end like what? I don't know. Television's weird. Television is fucking weird, chat. I don't understand. I don't understand. I I remember when like um no oh, fuck, what was that show called? Jersey Shore. Do you guys remember Jersey Shore? Do you guys remember that shit? I had more fun reading about whether or not it was fake or not than I did actually watching the show. I tried watching like one episode of it. And it's fucking miserable. It's so fucking boring. All the discourse around it was so interesting, like, because this was, this was during the time where it was like, oh, it's reality TV, is it real or is it fake? So... So it was fun, like, like, I, I would go on YouTube and I'd find, like, those videos where it's like, oh, here's proof that they were faking and stuff. And it was, it, like, like, because, because, like, one of the girls, I think her name was, like, it wasn't Snooky, I don't think, it was one of the other ones. Got into, like, a fight on a pier or something. And then, and then there was all like this, this discourse about whether it was real or not. And now they do that with like 90 Day Fiance. I don't even watch these shows, chat. I just like all the drama around them. Although I guess I kind of watch 90 Day Fiance because I watch, I watch like... Reaction channels react to bits and pieces. I don't know, this is a dumb tangent, sorry. You think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, God. Let's keep the There's conversations my to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Pedophile! Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final product. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? Pedophile! Your photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Cool, another child predator. You've literally said it. that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad to kick their ass over it. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. I've had my fair share of guy teachers flirt with me. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Is that a thing? I wonder well, chat? Well, 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 chat? What is it? Do you want to sexually murder... ...teenagers? Or are you an ugly white guy who plays video games? <laughs> Which way, western man? <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. Now you're mad at video games? I will not answer! Oh, kinda sus! Tony Stark thinks it's a lot. Remind their Twitter space show that this wasn't satire. Doomsday Dan and go big, big, big. Shut up, I'm only half white. Why is the word dragon thing in the large? We plead the fifth! Good to buy the large. Maybe not sexually, but. Self help yourself thinking the large. Jokes on her, I ain't white. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Subversive. I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls who make bad decisions. A little late for that. This is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. Yeah, right. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? Wait, I need that's money. That doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If what? If beautiful and hot? Absolutely. Okay, then when explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. 
It was funny. Honestly, answer that for all of them. It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Did we miss some stuff? Get your shit together and we won't have this problem! What shit? I'm fine! Stop lying! Quit shoplifting! Don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem! What drug problem? What are you talking about? Stay out of my medicine cabinet, Nicole. Mom, you are so fucking paranoid right now! Am I? You wouldn't mind if I looked in your backpack, would you? I would mind, but you wouldn't find shit anyway. Because you did it all at school, right? What is this, the Salem Ho Trials? You have two options, Nicole. Live by the rules of society or live on the goddamn street. Right now, your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here. You wouldn't kick me out. I can do whatever I want. Except find a good husband, right? Shut your fucking mouth! The MILF window's closing, Mom. I want to hit you so bad right now. Where's my valve? Volume. Top shelf on the left. And my parents said that to me too. My Lewis and Andy were too lost. Can it be both? When they talk about football We're neither things, Lewis, but there's not a team, so we're okay. What are you drawing? Can I see? Can't yeah, no, continue, no, things, Lewis. Yeah, surprise. Yeah. I don't know what you're drawing right. for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if Art Studios hire based on effort. No. Oh, just oh seven, my drawing. Lewis. But what Mom, you draw? I like Bitches the Xanax. killed. Women dying is cool. You should move when you graduate. <laughs> Unfortunately, the deadline for your character drawings has come. I will now walk around to provide feedback and collect your artwork. Jekka? Oh, here. Care to explain the piece to me? It's me and Ryan Sheckler at the Warp Tour. Ryan Sheckler? Yep, yeah, bitch, he's sexy. That's an unlockable character in Tony Hawk. He's not even real. <laughs> You are really fucking stupid. Watch the language, Nicole. Fuck, sorry. I mean, shit, sorry. I mean, whatever. Now, I'm very interested to see yours. Are you sure? You worked hard on it. Let's share it with the class. If you say so. This is... What is this? Oh, it's a picture of you killing yourself while your wife blows the UPS man. (laughs) What? How? Where'd you get this information? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Was it FedEx? This isn't funny, Nicole. I think it's pretty funny. Insubordination, inappropriate imagery, and sexual harassment of faculty. I'll let Principal Lin handle you. When did we sexually harass you? Sexual harassment? That's precisely what this is. There's nothing sexy about you. It's just regular harassment. (laughs) Oh, fuck. This bitch better have some Valium left. Guess not. I told you you were on thin ice and what'd you go and do? What the fuck are you talking about? You really think they'd refer you to the board for expulsion without giving me a phone call? Well, the fuck you mean expelled? I got suspended, thank you. Suspended the literally... indefinitely. The yeah, them indefinitely. As a meaning not definite, like not for sure. Meaning until they know what to do with you. That's how much trouble you're in. Fucking whatever. It's not a big deal, mom. They always threaten this. And what if they follow through? I don't know, it's not even your problem, just fuck off. So I take it you're not my problem either. Definitely not. Fine. As of tonight, you no longer live here. What? You heard me. Pack your shit, get out of my house. Go drink some wine, you're such a bitch when you're sober. Get the fuck out of my house! Are you serious right now? Come on. Should I call the police? You know what? Do it! God damn it. Hurry up, I texted like five minutes ago. Okay, what the hell is going on? Do you still have that futon in your basement? Yeah, it's covered in dried Mr. Pib, but yeah. I guess that's fine. Can I sleep here? Tonight? No, bitch, tomorrow. Are you really getting expelled over that drawing? That's bullshit. Just tell your mom that. I'm done telling my mom anything. She can rot in a tanning bed for all I care. Can I just say, I think as a parent, if you kick your child out, like on the street or whatever, right? Like, if they're, if they're, like, legally still your responsibility, if they're, like, under 18 or 16, whatever the fucking jurisdiction is or whatever in your, in your, in your state, I think, personally, that if something happens to them, it should be on the parent, right? It should be on the parent. Because, like, when you kick, like, a teenager out, if they can't, like, get their own place to live or whatever, like, they don't have, like, cards or cash or whatever, like, they're, they're, like, they're underage, they can't, like, have this stuff reasonably, because it's all controlled by parents. Like, there was a, there was one teen girl who, she got locked out of the house, I think, for coming home late. And her, her parents wouldn't let her back in the house, and she ended up getting murdered. 
because uh, because she she was like wandering around because she didn't have anywhere she could go. Like that that should be on the parents, man. Because like society society is just not built to like house people, right? Like everything everything is not like like house people that don't. How do I explain this? Like how how's like underage people? Is that how do how do I word this? How do I word this? It's like when you're underage, you can't get access to anything, right? Like you you don't usually have cash because you can't get a job at most places. And you go you don't have money to like take a bus or like I feel like it's a lot better nowadays because kids have access to phones and they can they can call for like an Uber or whatever. If they have some form of currency connected to their account to take them somewhere that is like 24 hours. But like your only option if you're a teenager, if you get kicked out of the house, is to like pray you have like a 24 hour store next to you that you can camp out at because you can't afford to go to a hotel or anything. And if you stay outside, like, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Society is just too dangerous. What are you talking about? It is illegal. But it's so common, man. It's so common. There was a- there was a fucking- I saw a clip of this, um, on- Uh, 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 they did like a new version of the Proud Family. You guys remember that cartoon, Proud Family? Uh, they did like a new version of it, and there was this clip getting posted around on Twitter. Where... It was like- it was like the main character gets locked out of the house for- for coming home late. Just like the- just like the real situation of where that girl got murdered. And like, people in the comments were like defending it, man. They were- they were defending it. I was like, what the fuck? Why would you- why would you- I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it seems fucked up to me. It, there's like... I don't know. I don't know. There's this weird thing with... Parents nowadays, it feels like. It feels like- like- like millennial parents. Where it's like they take like the strict teaching of their parents or the stern attitudes of their parents and they turn it into like an excuse for negligence. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, my parents were harsh on me. And that means I get to not care about my child. That means I get to like, I, I can punish my child by like taking away their food or kicking them out of the house in what is now, like, a more dangerous area, whereas, like, probably when you were growing up, it wasn't... Like, it still wouldn't have been a good decision, but, like, let's, let's face it, times change and shit. Uh, Edel and Bartling, my lord, good news for those kids kicked out of their homes. Venmo is now available for all teens. Hooray, I guess. This is all Dingerton Lords. I'm glad I graduated in 04. I just slapped this girl a lot. Also, my dad kicked my brother out for stealing from him in the shop at. He got hit by a car and laughed at him in the hospital. Okay, that's a little psychopathic. Red Pirate Roberts, Angry Dolores, little crab bucket mentality. Yeah, but it's like to their own kids. John Garrison, Angry Dolores, if your kid sucks, you raise them, your fault. True. True. Hard Northern Angry Dolores, I ran away at 17, it was a mistake, but no regrets. The car thing's a little much. Also, there's logic that if it was... That if their way is better, then they would make their own experiences for nothing? What? My parents taught me to work and earn my own money as a child, and my mother got tired of my nonsense, and I had the skills to provide for myself. That's good. I'm gonna say, like, if you're if you're a parent that doesn't want to deal with your child, then at least, like, teach them how to deal with themselves, you know? I don't know. There was another post on Twitter where it was, like, uh, Weekend Warrior retweeted it with, with the comment, like, my mother and- or my sister in Christ, it was your child to raise, where, like, the original tweet was- was this mom Talking about, like, oh my god, it's so crazy, like, my son has never- he doesn't know how to mail an envelope? He doesn't know how to- how to- it, it was like a bunch of stupid shit. And it's like, oh, he doesn't know how to mail a package? It's like, well, why didn't you fucking teach him? Why didn't you fucking teach him then? He was writing, you know, as my mom kicked my brother out at 17, he was fine. I presume there was, like, some sort of warning, or, like, he knew what was gonna happen. Ellie and Juggalo, they were fun lawyers. This is why you need to foster relationships with your neighbors and stay local for 20 and 30 years. The kick the punk kid out relies on trusting others. Yeah. Next Angel is angry fun lawyers. Another option would be military school. I, I ironically think it's nicer. Like, if you're gonna be a shit parent and you're gonna neglect your child or you're gonna use, like... Any 
excuse, basically, to be a shit parent. Like, it's a kinder fate to send them to something like military school, I think. Uh, naturally negative thing for those. Clearly the answer is to legalize child labor. They yearn for the mines. Mm. Well, you're gonna rot in the street if you don't work it out with her. Dude, you have a house. Just let me stay with you. If it was my house, you could stay all you want, but it's my parents' house. Mom will get pissed. Dad'll probably hit on you. It'll be weird. Okay, so you and your dad against her. That's perfect. Let me stay. No, Nicole. Like, I wish I could help, but I don't know. Well, can you at least give me all the fruit roll-ups in your kitchen? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wonder which mall has the softest benches. I was lucky because growing up, like the houses that I've lived in have usually had like some sort of extra building. So when my parents were being fucking crazy, I would just go hide in the shed. Uh, Miss Courtesy, thank you for the five dollars. If you saw the replies on the Proud episode, people were extremely mad about it and were telling their stories about what happened when they were kicked out. I saw some of those, but when I when I was looking at it, maybe maybe it's just like the timing at which I saw it. Uh, MRC to the J, thank you for the dollars. Uh, if I had kids, I'd punish them the old-fashioned way. I'd call their waifu trash! Those are the worst benches ever. It's like they don't want homeless customers. Damn, Nicole, you're here early. Yeah, you too. What for? Just buying something. Buying what? Are you a cop? Bitch, do I look like a cop? Yeah, just waiting for Kyler. He's supposed to sell me his oxy. He's got a lot, right? Totally. These dumbass white guys break their legs and turn into pharmacies. I'd buy more from him, but then I'd have to give him my phone number. No, you don't. MySpace. Make a ghost account. A ghost account? Or they call it a burner or a puppet. A Basically puppet. an account separate from you, where you do illegal shit. Oh, uh, it doesn't have to be else. illegal. What do you use it for? Stalking people who blocked me. Kind of a waste. You add the right people, you can buy anything on there. Drugs, guns, ass, whatever. Drugs, guns, and ass. And the cops aren't tracking that? No, they're old ass cops. They can't figure that shit out. Cool. Yeah, this is good to hear because my mom kicked me out yesterday. I should buy something to forget about this shit. Are you couch surfing or straight up homeless? Homeless straight up. I slept on a bench last night. Damn. Well, go make some money on MySpace. But I don't have any drugs or guns to sell. You know what I meant. Go we'll steal some. I don't know if I'm ready to be a MySpace escort. Have you never thought about it before? No, I think about it every week. I just never thought I'd have this crossroad in high school. Shit happens, dude. I wouldn't think any less of you. Yeah, but would I think less of myself? Yo, what's up? I, I got the shit. Where the fuck were you? Places? I got shit to do. I'm not some drug addict like you. They're not for me. They're for my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? I don't even want to sell this to you anymore. Are you kidding me? I got a hundred for the bottle right here. 110. You said 100 on MySpace, asshole. Yeah, but you didn't say you had a boyfriend. Fuck me. Okay, 110. Here. Thanks. And, and let me know when you're single. Let me know when you're not. What? Have fun, Nicole. I'll try. Gotta get home before Mind of Mencia comes on. Kyler, can I have a pill? I don't have a boyfriend. Panhandling pills? What are you, homeless? Uh, no. Oh, good. Yeah, you can have one, because I fucking hate the homeless. Oh my god. Okay. Seriously, <laughs> like a lot of politicians just say that, but I actually want homeless people exterminated off the planet. Yeah, but that's an opinion. Like, the only way they could contribute to our society is by jumping into meat grinders so we have something to feed farm animals. Give me the fucking pill! Whoa, fine. Are you like an addict? You can say that. Sweet, yeah. Drug addict girls are hot because they're really easy to control. Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ! What? Oh, uh, I think Mind of Mencia is starting soon. Oh, you're right. I, I gotta go. Did she get the pill? Okay, I gotta figure something out. She's selling fun lore. not really psychopathic. My dad was just a master sergeant in the military. He treated us like soldiers. If I hadn't gotten sick, I'd be in the military. Bullet dodged. This amazing were two dollars. Damn, he just like my dad for real, for real. Um, where were the other ones? Oh, Celine, thank you for the ten dollars. My parents adopted me despite them being elderly. Same with my big brother and little sister. My sis was kicked out by her biological parents. I miss my parents dearly and will always be grateful. Aww. That's, that's wholesome, Celine. Um. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that's all. One, two, save? Save? I guess we can save over this. Overwrite? Yes. Okay. Work at dying DVD store or start your own car wash. Meet those infinite thing with ours. Well, you can't say he'd ever lie to look good. One, two, one, two. It's very split. It's very... It's, yeah, I'll make a poll. One or two. One or two, chat. 
Our wash is probably saucy. I doubt it. I hope not. One, then two. We're gonna get to them both eventually. Probably. Actually, wait, there's only one more ending, right? So there's probably only a little bit of dialogue in one of them. Um, chat is voting for two! Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go, gamers! In a hardware store alone. Now I know how it feels to be racist. Uh, what? Call. Uh, oh wait, it's not awkward. Uh, yeah, why'd you pick Home Depot over Lowe's? Usually when I see someone from school in public, I try to avoid them. But I just realized I'm not in school anymore. Did you drop out? No, I'm getting expelled. For what? Some bullshit. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. Well, at school, stuff's been going good for me. Do you know where the sponges are? I'm trying to start a car wash. Lowe's sucks? Fuck you. Lowe's has better Halloween decorations. Near the chemical supplies, but I'm still class president. Could you not interrupt me? I'm not in class anymore. You're not my president. Well, I'm still a person, so you should respect me. I think Dude, you should I'm shut the fuck up, Megan. You're just a memory now. There's zero consequences for anything I say to you. Are you even- You're a whore. Excuse me? I have a boyfriend and a purity ring. Oh my for god. real? How do I get one? Little late for you. No, it's never too late to have your boyfriend fuck every girl but you. I don't need to take this. I'm on the honor roll, something you'll never do. Bitch, why don't you shut the fuck up before I slit your throat and watch the honor roll out? Holy Are you fuck. you threatening me? No, I'm hitting on you. Flash me a titty, bitch. Cokehead slut. And there is no one she can report me to. Awesome. For only eight bucks. Great deal. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. You interested? What are you selling? Car washes, eight bucks. With one of those peanut sponges? Yeah, the big yellow one, hand washed. Get a car wash to support the homeless. Oh, you're gonna With get murder sponge? raped. Fuck the homeless. You drive a Corolla. What are you worried about? The fuck? Maybe I should flirt more. You washing cars? What does it look? I mean. Yeah, and I'd really like to wash a car like yours. I bet it's fast. Yeah, the coach is gonna pull up. Not to brag. Of course not. It is what it is, right? Yeah, it's the GT, so leather seats and everything. Leather is so sexy. You wanna take me for a ride after I get this cleaned? A ride where? I don't know. Your place, maybe? I don't think my husband would like that. <laughs> <laughs> when the fuck do gay people drive Mustangs? I gotta find a new spot. Okay, that was good. Okay. <laughs> Teachers are charitable, right? Damn, you went 16 to 10. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, sweetie. What oh, you doing no, here I on the Saturday? It. I'm I in a car wash. It. Are you sure you're allowed to do that at school without staff supervision? I'm a student here, it's whatever. Are you sure you're allowed to go that fast? Ah, there's no kids around today. And even if I hit one, it's just a write-off. Oh, okay. How is that a write-off? Because you write them off the student list. Ah! Wow, so you want a car wash? I might have some time. How much? Eight bucks. Get that shirt wet and I'll give you ten. I'm in high school, Mr. Colby. You're right, you're right. Fifteen, then. Not what I meant. Fifteen what? Years in prison at this rate. Nicole, what do you think you're doing here? She's a student. She could be here. Yeah, I know, right? She got expelled, Mr. Colby. What? Is you this true? Knock, I didn't bitch. get expelled. I'm suspended indefinitely while they consider expulsion. Honey, you can't be here. You gotta go. Why? Or else what? Or I gotta report you for an unsanctioned car wash. Well, I'll report you <laughs> for trying to buy a wet t-shirt car wash. Uh... Well, well, maybe we could just forget Is about it. Oh, what? I didn't see anything. You were literally walking up as he said it. Gay no, actually, as I recall, what? you were offering him a topless car wash. Right, Mr. Colby? Oh, this bitch is oh, psycho. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Are you actually fucking kidding me? Who's the whore now, Nicole? You Jesus bitches are fucked up. They are. God, MySpace sucks on the phone. How do I make a new account? Oh, shit. What's up? Hey, what's up? Ted, the girls in school that had like the fucking purity rings and shit, they were fucking crazy, Chad. They were fucking crazy. They were fucking crazy. It's good. I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. Are you still homeless? Basically. I'm trying to use the Starbucks Wi-Fi right now. Did you try what I told you about? No, I'm making the account for it now, though. What should my name be? I I'm mean, God, for real, for real. Don't make fun down, of me! Honestly. Gotcha. How about dirty little rental? Is that little still slutty? a thing? All right. I don't know about, about anymore. 
pierced princess. Hmm, I like the innuendo, super cute, but really emo. I got shit to be emo about, don't I? Yeah, true. But that's probably already taken, so put X's in the name. Okay, XX pierced princess XX. No, you got put on There you go. Damn, you went from like hesitant to making awesome screen names. What happened over the week? Like, I just came to grips with the fact that when you're pretty, retail and escorting make you feel equally disgusting. 2009 has Wi-Fi? Bro, did you not... Did you not ever connect your DS? To the Wi-Fi? Sir, did you never connect... Your DS to the Wi-Fi? You missed out. You missed out, motherfucker. Yeah, either way, you deal with hideous people. It never worked. It did not ever work. The only time... The only time connecting my DS to the Wi-Fi worked was when I was at a fucking RV park. People against your will. So, who do I add? How do I even know they're around here? There's one guy who's pretty much connected with everybody in the area. You add one, then the others start hitting you up. What's his <coughs> name? Uh, Cream Pie Casanova 420. Yeah, I see him here. It's added. gonna be Kyler, isn't so it? So, when he accepts, just PM him and he'll shut you out. Cool, but how does it work? I don't have a car. When you're selling favors, they usually come to you. And if you let them pay you in drugs, you get way more for your time. Oh. Have you done this before? I'm on there, but I never sold favors. My friends in Laurel have, though. Damn, there's some white trash in Laurel, too. Would they get paid in drugs? Yeah, but only because they had people to sell to. Anyway, I gotta go. Good luck with the Wi-Fi. Hey, Jim, think fun, boys. There's a guy who was super religious in high school, but got along with everyone around me. I was pretty usually laid back. This better thing for Laura's imagine being able to afford a DS friggin' rich kids. You know, for two <laughs> weeks of being homeless, you don't really look that homeless. What do you think, everybody? I had, I had the DS, and then when the DS Lite came out, I got the DS Lite. And then when the DSi came out, I got the DSi. My grandma can't got them for me. Not to brag or anything. Not to brag. But she got me, she got me the DSs when they came out. And, and, and my parents got me Pokemon. This better than Rufundors. Oh, I read that. I already read that. Hold on. Wait, that was another one. Fred Jokel thing, Rufundors. I had a chick in my class that tried to convince my art teacher to let her cleanse her of demons. She was dead serious about it, too. Okay, then. Pretty homeless. Where's a barrel with suspenders? No, but you're still so, like, clean and put together. The homeless dudes on the bus are covered in dried spit in Burlington Coat Factory. A lot of the guys let me crash, use their shower, everything. 2DS? Why the fuck would I get a 2DS if I already had the 3DS? Guys that you're meeting on... On MySpace, What's yeah. up, Angry Dollars? PSP gang? I never thought I'd ask this not as an insult, but... How's being a whore going? <laughs> Escort? Or that... Whatever means... Money for sex? On MySpace, we don't call it sex. We call it favors. And on Craigslist, we call it roses. Frank DeVito, Angry Dollars! Grandparents are always the best! So... What are the guys like? Are they really weird? Well, they're buying favors so obviously, but the actual doing it isn't even the worst part. It's after. What is it awkward? Uh, so after they finish, depending- Hold on, hold on, hold on! Pivot probably had the Pokemon 3DS! Bro, you don't even know! You don't even know! When the, when the X and Y 3DS came out, I traded in- Chat! I traded in my, my regular 3DS, right? Like, I had the old model, right? I had, like, the generic, like, Cyan model, right? So I traded it in for the fucking Pokemon X and Y one, right? And I wanted, I wanted the Y one, but GameStop, because they're a bunch of cuck bitch asshole motherfuckers, they, they sold mine. They sold mine to somebody else, even though I had the pre-order down. So when I, when I went to the, <laughs> the Swim Blast, <laughs> <laughs> so when I went there, they had a sticker on one of the other ones. It was the Pokemon X version. And they had a sticker on it that said, like, hold for somebody else, right? So I was like, but I pre-ordered. And they were like, oh, well, the other person hasn't gotten here yet. So I guess you can have this one. So they sold me that one. And my parents covered the rest of the cost after the trade-in. Not to brag or anything, but yeah. Depending on the guy, you get this wide range of emotions from wanting to save you to wanting to kill you. What's in the middle? Wanting you to get out before their wife comes home. They're married? What if they get you pregnant, Nicole? There's upper favors and lower favors. I don't do lower favors. Those are for ugly girls. Shit. What do they pay if you're not giving it all up? There's not really a number, because I usually trade for drugs. Guys into this are like pharmacies. That better be some awesome shit if you're not getting paid. Oh, it is. I probably did a thousand dollars in free pills this week. They're not 
free if you're doing favors for him. Let's not get that deep. But you're only doing this because you're homeless. Me tells the voice. Becky tackling the dehumanizing issues. Being a regular hoe. <laughs> Becky tackling the dehumanizing issues of hoeing while homeless. Pippa and I got every DS. <laughs> she should have had. She should have gotten a DS instead of drugs. For actual cash, would be. It's a better cash value. Be better than where you are right now. Then you could get your own place, maybe. No shit. I ask for drugs because I can't do this sober. You can I do it if you sober. had Pokemon. I can't starve sober. You'd be happy. And I definitely can't fuck a stranger sober. Yeah, but why not go to a women's shelter or something? You could trade Pokemon. You can't have drugs in a women's shelter, which is the last place you want to be sober in. I guess. It's just a month ago I couldn't imagine you doing this. I could never do this. It's so gross. Well, a month ago I wasn't homeless. But when your mom kicks you out and your friend won't let you stay with her, that kind of forces you to do shit you wouldn't normally do. Okay, kind of dark, but I remember one time I had I had this friend, right? I had this friend. Um and I remember I remember uh she came over to my house and then my parents were dropping her off and she told them to like drop her off at like this one corner. Because she didn't want to, like, be embarrassed because her and her mom lived at a battered woman's shelter. And then, um, after we dropped her off, Mama Kim was like, Oh, so they live at the battered women's shelter, right? And I was just like, yeah. Are you trying to guilt me right now? That's a bit thing for the voice. Try. The stream goes very hard. Love from Kazakhstan. Hate hey, GameStop. So much is unreal. At least she didn't say it in front of her. This is so much easier than phone MySpace. Let's see. That's sad. It was I sad. I only pay in cash if that's okay. Shit. I guess I have enough on me. Flash! To also, please keep Flash! this to yourself. The I have a high profile career and don't want this getting around. <gasps> Blackmail time. Dave Crumbling toys. This game is just emergence metaphor. Metamorphosis, isn't it? Maybe this route. High profile means rich. And rich means blackmail money. Dun, 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 dun. I can't hold up a camera phone in his face for the proof. Nicole, you're not allowed to use MySpace on the library computers. Karen, right? Do you know how to set up a timed photo on the sidekick? The phone? Don't change the subject. I'm the librarian assistant. You're gonna get me in trouble. Why are you Why using can't the we use MySpace? It's library. not an educational website. I learned how to break into a car on MySpace. How is that not educational? Rules are rules, Nicole. You need to log off now. Log off? I gotta reply to this. Dude, can you just act like a hot bitch for once? I, I, I well, oh, hold on. It's better than anything for those. A Christian guy in my high school acts all nice with everyone, then calls a Catholic kid a heretical idol worshiper in front of everyone. Mask off moment. Yeah. She's already homeless. Yeah, she should go to, like, a regular library, not, like, a school library. But also, I've never heard of, like, school libraries controlling what you can do. I used to, I used to, um... In one of the, in one of the schools that I went to, where I enjoyed math, um, the teacher was really chill. And it wasn't him, but, uh, there was, there was, uh, one of the other people that used to do, like, tutoring and stuff. And we were, we were chatting in between tutoring kids. Sound, sounds so dumb. Uh, <laughs> he was like, I don't know how I got brought up, but like, we started talking about Neopets, and he was like, oh, yeah, during lunch, you should come in here and play Neopets. And I was like, what? We can do that? So, uh, for like the rest of the school year, during lunch, I, I, I went into the, I went into the little math computer room, and I played Neopets. Is there anything, Dolores? It's the King's Park Library. It's a public library. Out it! Out it! It was cool, though. It was cool, though. I didn't know. Listen, I wasn't like. I wasn't like, um. Smart with Neopets, right? Like, I just. I just played it because I enjoyed it. I was like very, like, brain off playing it. And that kid, he taught me. He taught me about one Neopoint actions. He was showing me his inventory. He was like, look at this. I got a Tyranian paintbrush. And I was like, holy shit, how did you get that? And he was like, yeah, the people, if you go to the trading post, they have one nail point action. All you do is you bid one nail point and then like they'll accept it or they'll reject it. And so I just started doing like nothing but that. <laughs> uh, rest of the video is for those. 
Both my parents worked. They taught me how to use appliances, mending, and easy dishes to cook. I could have left, but had younger siblings to watch. Well, that was kind of you to, to stick around to watch them and, and help your parents. Uh, climb the magic crafting. And Dolores, Catholics, and Christians are... Jesus Crips and Bloods? <laughs> Two speed and Dolores, yeah, Karen's way hotter than Miss... What the fuck? He taught you the Neopets hustle. He did. He did. I hope that kid's gone far in life. He was a, he was a good person. He was a good person. I'm not a hot bitch. No, I... Your, um... Your glasses are cute. Just oh, I remember! I remember one time, right? We were tutoring people, right? And there... Uh, uh, uh... The one kid came in, and his paper was, like, shit that I hadn't learned yet, right? And instead of, like, being awkward or whatever, like, the kid, the other kid, the, 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 the Neil Pets Baron, as you guys called him. He just, like, carried, man. He just, he just carried. He did, like, all the tutoring for that kid. I just, like, kind of sat there. I, it was, it was so, good person, chat. Good person. Good person. It's cute, though. Did I say cute? I meant hot. Like, sex for free hot. I don't know. I feel kind of nerdy Pikachu, wearing yeah. them, but contacts hurt my eyes. Nerdy? No, they're contacts like really suck. distinctive in a hot way. You could like be in Playboy with a quadratic formula tramp stamp. Tramp stamp? Like the back tattoo? Yeah, dudes could study it while hitting you doggy and shit. I'm allergic to dogs. Christ, whatever. <laughs> Karen, do you see what I'm saying? You're a hot bitch. Act like one. What are hot bitches supposed to act like? Hot bitches aren't worried about losing their depressing unpaid internship at the local library. What is the local library? Well, I guess you can use the computer for five more minutes, but then you really gotta log off. Close enough. So how do I do a timed photo? Uh, okay. So you go to the camera section, do new capture, then go over to flash and exposure settings. Wait, the li local libraries with the computers? Have you guys ever seen one that you're not allowed to use, like, non-educational websites? I... I feel like I've seen some that say, like, no Facebook? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like most of the time, like, when I was at the library, um, local library, I ended up just seeing mostly people filling out, like, job applications on them. I'm trail mixing on BB. My grade school computer lab used to let kids play Quake 2 LAN with other students! I'll never forget the day the teachers banned it, though. Sad face. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. They just have some websites blocked. Ah. Okay, that camera angle should be good. Where is this guy? And I wonder how rich he's gonna be. He could be like a basketball player. Or Steve Jobs. He's gonna be a cop. Or the guy who invented Adderall. Or oh, a serial killer. Him. It's so dark, you probably can't even recognize Our me. A coach? Our teacher? Hey, you weren't looking for favors, were you? Guilty as charged, pierced princess. Oh my god. What the fuck? You're not rich, you're Mr. Lori. Oh god. You work at a school and you're on that part of my space? Oh, Nicole, please don't. Oh no. Oh my That's god. That's why your wife left you. You kept paying for ass on the internet. Emily, come out here. Damn, I was hoping you were the guy from Transformers. <laughs> what was this? We thought you were going to be a celebrity, so Nicole had me hide with her camera phone. Oh, two witnesses. Why not just use the self-timer? I couldn't figure it out. How long have you been doing this? Girls, please. She's so I'm real for that. I'm just very anxious. I popped three Zans, and I'm still freaking out. How do you think I feel? No, come on. Hey, let's let's work back. something out here. Stay back. Like what? No, fuck that. This dude got me expelled. He ruined my life. I'm sorry, Nicole. Just... Please don't tell anyone about this. You better pay up then. Starting at a thousand. Each. But on a teacher's salary and my house payment. Your house was foreclosed. What do you got to worry about? Bitch, take a loan out. Yeah, ask your wife for that UPS money. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, I'll go to the ATM if you promise to just not tell anyone. He's going to come uh, back sure. with a gun. Yeah, trust me. We won't tell a soul. Ending? You know, damn well oh. we told after we got the money. I told Jekka. Jekka showed the photo to Miss Lynn. Miss Lynn informed the school board, and the school board deemed his accusation of me unreliable because he pays for sex. Oh, My mom get wrecked. got a call from the principal saying I'm back in school, so I'm not homeless anymore either. Everything just kind of worked out. Aside from all the trauma I got from selling my body, but whatever. Jekka was worried he'd get revenge on me because I snitched. You know, cardinal street rule. But honestly, street rules don't really exist when you're actually living on the street. 
Everyone's gonna have an opinion on what I did to survive. But let's see you homeless with no one to crash with. Those upper favors are gonna start sounding real convenient. Then again, you're probably not as pretty as me, so you'd only get paid for lower favors. Bend over, bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? Now, see, actually... Actually... I've watched a bit of... Oh, fuck, I forget his name. Something Trahan! There's this YouTuber named Something Trahan. I don't remember the first part. It's like some generic name. But... He does like these videos where it's like surviving on a penny for a week, right? And what he does is he goes around and he like pen handles like like oh I'll, if I if I make you laugh you gotta give me a dollar, right? So he does stuff like that. And then once he gets a dollar, he goes and buys like a bottle of water, and then he sells the bottle of water for like two dollars, and then he sells the two bottles of water for wait he wait. He gets the two dollars, and then he gets two bottles of water from a, for a dollar. And then he sells those for two dollars each. And then he keeps doing that until he can afford, like, a cooler. And then he buys ice for it. And he buys, like, soda. And he sells those. It's fake. It's not fake, chat. It's not fake. It's not fake. It's not fake. I swear this is a skin. It's not fake! Listen! Listen, I gotta show you guys these videos. I, I, I feel like I feel like a parent. I gotta show you guys this cool thing I found on the internet. It's definitely not fake. <laughs> it's fake! It's not fake! The way he does it, Chad, it makes sense! Like, you could get, like, a dollar out of people. You could get, like, a dollar at a time out of people. Listen! If the, if the people wearing orange vests outside of Walmart on the intersection can make fucking multiple hundreds of dollars just asking for money plainly, how can you not make, like, a dollar asking for money from, like, people, but for, like, a funny reason? Like, oh, I'll make you laugh. Right? I don't know. I'd do it, but, like, I don't have charisma. I think you have to have charisma to do that. We got clickbaited. No. No. And then he gives away all the money at the end. I'll pay you a dollar for a laugh. <laughs> Says the VTuber. <laughs> Social experiment BS. Scripted. No! No! Uh, I hope not, because I enjoy... I enjoy those videos. <laughs> I enjoy those videos. But it would be really easy to scam. No. I Google everything. Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo, they're going to lose this bitch. I'm sure you're worth upper favors, Pippa. I don't like that compliment. Pinjin 3 and Singer Dolores laugh twice. Here's two dollars. James Cass, Singer Dolores. Isn't being a VTuber just virtual panhandling? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Shut up. Don't think. Don't think! Don't use your brain! Your brain's stupid! Your mother should have hit you more as a child! I don't think I'm gonna be another game to put in the completed list. I'm gonna miss Kyler after this. Meet those infinite things, then Lord. Who the hell would just give ten dollars to someone just because they're funny? Not ten dollars, you idiot! One dollar! He goes up to like dads and stuff, and he was doing jokes! He was like, he goes up to like these dads, and he was like, why couldn't the bicycle stand on its own? And the dads would be like, why? And he'd be like, cause it's too tired. And then one of the dads was like, oh, that's pretty funny. But I got another one for you. And he was like, oh, really? And the dad was like, yeah. What does the mermaid wash its tail fin with? Or wash its, wash its scales with? And he was like, what? And the dad was like, tied. <laughs> Highly juggling her two dollars. Oh, he did one about pirates too. He was like, he was like, what did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? Hey, matey. Highly juggling her dollars. Here's my two dollars. Where's my water bottle? I don't have any water bottle for you, bitch. My ghost is thinking for the five dollars. Do you drink water? Homeless people sell you, Pippa. 
Yeah, at the carnival. I pay like five bucks for it, too. Okay, that one was good. Yeah! <laughs> Stop throwing tomatoes, Jed! Stop it! Fuck you! The carny water, the carny water. Dude, some, some carnival food is like the best food I've ever tasted, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Only if it's been opened. I live for the mystery, the, 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 the gacha grind. Hey, get away from that door! Whoa! Hey, Shabu, I've just been in this place. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, take my watch. Just put the knife away. Just put the knife away. This is gonna show us some feet for free? Oh, that's not a knife. That's a box cutter. I guess it's still technically a knife. Uh, crab anything right to the I gave... Oh, it's pizza time. I gave Rabbit money after she began roasting a pig. What about me? If God wasn't watching, who is? Me? Me tells him anything right to the fact that you didn't... What? The fact that you didn't get the joke just makes it better. Also, here's the last of my weekly super budget. Oh, the she kicked me for being too funny, so the FaZe Clan has to babysit me for this week. Whose stream did you get kicked out of? Well, thank you. Uh, what a great experience, my lords. Think you can open a soda can with your mouth? No! My teeth are too fragile! That video message sucked! I liked the... I liked the last one. I liked the one from the first game. Hmm. Hey, my buddy Craig gave me your number. Are you still offering the whipped cream ham... Hand job? Let me take a drink. <clears throat> Potato radio thing for $5. Look, Lumi gets fish band to make cotton candy versions of FaZe. What flavor would you want as yours? Apple. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I like thinking of BB. Oh, my birthday was on the 4th and Nick's in this little of... Dread of eating is setting in, please! Oh! <gasps> Happy birthday, Heartlock! You're not gonna die yet, Heartlock! Don't worry about it, Heartlock! Happy birthday to you! Worry about it when you hit, like, 50, because then the, then the clock is really ticking. Sorry to my 10% of viewers that are over the age of 50. Hmm, anyways. Hey, my buddy Craig gave me your number. Are you still offering the whipped cream hand jobs, or was it Sans whipped cream now? Not sure if that was a limited time thing, like the Pizza Hut 4 for all. God, that was such a convenient option because I hated when me and my golf buddies would order half onions, and then the entire pizza tasted like onions. Anyway, I will be a very gentle and respectful client. By the way, is it extra if I want you to pretend to be my daughter who died last year? Like, we talk about how you were doing in social studies or something while you pound my hog to Jenny McCarthy show reruns playing in the background. Brownie points if you can cry on command. XOXO. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit weird. Let me keep you thinking, boys. Here's a joke for you. How do you get a pink rabbit to read things while panhandling for $5? Fuck you. That's the best thing for boys. Don't forget to brush, post, Hip sips, avoid pepperonitis. Wonder how his daughter died. Let's watch this again. Okay, imaging nursing unit. It's a guy in a wheelchair. Yeah, uh, nurse yells, "Get away from that door!" Another nurse says, "Security." Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Here, take my watch. Put the knife away. Just put the knife away. He robbed somebody. There's the box cutter. I got like 20 of those from a dead guy. And then he has a watch that says pizza time, but with McDonald's logo? McDonald's doesn't even sell pizza. That's the only thing, Dolores. Last one sounds like you texting Dizzy. And was that Jekka? 
Meet those infinite thing for dollars. I can go for five dollars over budget because that bonus message finally gave me the motivation to kill myself. No, don't kill yourself. I don't know what else to say. Just don't kill yourself. Don't do it. No. No, Ulu, you're too sexy to die. <laughs> The more great experiencing over ten dollars, VTubing is more like busking than panhandling. You're like a human robot or mime, but you're a woman. Just say it like that. You saying? Are you saying a human robot or <laughs> mime can't be a woman? What's up with the qualifier there, buddy? <laughs> are you saying women aren't human? Come on, man! <laughs> Chris Madding, I'm gonna be fun back, but. I thought McD used to sell pizza, actually, in select areas. What the fuck? Maybe these still a route. Yeah, I guess we can go back to that. It's not another route. We finished all the routes, but we can get the dialogue. Many are... Okay, right, so... Welcome oh, to FYE. Loud. I thought it was Fi. Uh, no. FYE, it's an abbreviation. I'm Kelly. I'll be your manager. Yeah, we go to school together. Do we? I don't think we've properly met. Are you fucking with me? Okay, Nicole, that language is okay amongst coworkers, but not in front of the customers. So, first training question, what does FYE stand for? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, hold on, James, I think I'm pretty sure McDonald's did have pizza or hot dog. Or both, I can't remember. Well, Burger King used to have hot dogs, and then they took them away. Marion Ritter, thing with the $2. The real question is, who was Cream Pie Casanova 420? I thought that was the teacher, right? The teacher that got expect. <laughs> Mr. Lori? Oh, it's for your entertainment. I was thinking like... Fuck you, Epstein? That wouldn't make sense. For your excitement, try again. The seal boy thing, your happy birthday, Pippa? ejaculation? No, that's our adult video branch. Ah. For your entertainment? Good. But not only are the products for the customer's entertainment, it's also the store experience. Are you saying we gotta flirt with the customers? If you wanna sell that rewards program, is that optional? Sell it once a month or else you're fired. Oh, and after hours, am I allowed to sleep in the break room? I mean, I don't care, but the regional manager might. I can close every night. Even the days I'm not working, I'll just show up to close. Dang, really? Yeah, do whatever you want then, go-getter. And do you drug test? No, it's an FYE, not a hospital. This is gonna be sick. Glad to hear. Let's go out on the floor so I can show you how it's done. Okay, we're just opening, so some customers are gonna show soon. Remember the four steps to the register? Greet, compliment, help, entertain. Oh my God, good memory. I try, cause I have to now. Oh, customer, watch this. Hey, welcome to FYE, I'm Kelly. Oh, not this oh, fucker yeah, again. Hey. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks, uh, yeah, most people were kinda down on this Guns N' Roses. Really? I thought it was even better than the first movie. Movie? So you looking for anything in particular? Uh, some DVD box sets for a road trip. Oh yeah, collections are right over here. But you gotta pick the right one or you're in for a miserable drive. Yeah, really? My ex-boyfriend picked the most boring movies. That's why I'm single now. Oh man, sorry to hear. What a mistake. They are made and for each other. The difference between this and whoring myself out on MySpace is... I wonder if this place has anime. Nicole? Hi, welcome to FYE. I didn't know you worked here. Well, now you do. By the way, nice, um, damn. Nice what? Compliment. Uh, you don't look like a regular rapist. Thanks. So are you looking for anything? What the well, fuck? Well, actually, I wandered in here under the assumption there would be anime DVDs. Cool. It's right there. A cute, nice squirrel on your shirt. It's very cute. See? Very easy. It's cute squirrel. Um... FYE has any? anime now? No, we don't carry anime, FYE so exists? sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Leave? But why? You're just gross. You look like you were breastfed till you were eight. What? You're just saying that because of my breast milk fetish. Oh, now what? you really have to leave. But, but, but... Nicole, welcome to FYE. I'm Kelly. Hello. I like your shirt, dude. Really funny. Oh, thanks. My mom got it for me at Target. That's really hot. What brings you here today? Anime. So, we only have a few anime DVDs, but you can look at them on that back shelf. Oh, okay. I could browse for a moment. And I'll be with you in just a sec. Nicole, could I have a word with you in the break room? 
Okay, I get a redo. That was a psycho customer. Sure, he was a little off, but you can't just insult the customers like that. You saw how I handled him. Yeah, but you didn't see the other weird shit about his breast milk fetish. Nicole, we're in the business of sales. If the customer says he has a breast milk fetish, you tell that bitch to drink up. That's insane. That's customer service. He won't remember what he bought. But he will remember telling the pretty girl working at FYE about breast milk and her being totally cool with it. I don't think that's right. This speed singer Dolores, will he use an anime film fan so would have a child in front? What? What? Jeff came out and come to he's just like me, for real, for real? What? <laughs> what? I'm trying to think. I can't think of any, I, I can't think of any, like, store employees that, that stand out to me, other than the really nice ladies at Cracker Barrel. People at Cracker Barrel are always so fucking nice, chat. Oh, one time, one time, an air flight attendant was really nice to me. She thought that I called her hun, but I didn't. But she seemed delighted. So I was too nervous to correct her. I forget what I said. I forget what I said to her. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> you did good. <laughs> uh, Nipple there, Dolores. Uh, the people at my local 7-Eleven are really cool. Oh, I like the people at 7-Eleven. They don't talk, they don't say anything, man. They don't care. They don't fucking care. They bring up all your shit, no questions asked. You go to leave? Have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Done! The speed thing, Dolores. Brad's wife was the greatest at Cracker Barrel. I remember that. I remember that. Man. Social anxiety has its positive outcomes. I uh, count that an active thing for the $2 the ones who saved the merch for you that one time. Oh, yeah. That was... I already forgot about that, but yeah! I went to, I went to a store. I'm, I'm trying to think about how to talk about this without it being like... Potentially like doxy stuff, but like... Went to a store, and they don't usually get, like, Hololive stuff in. But they did get Hololive stuff in. And so, when I walked in, the employee, one of the employees just walked up and was like, Here you go! I was like, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bingo, 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 Two dollars? I told you all. Jeffrey is best boy. Kyler, close second. Miss FYE. You told us before. Yee, yee. Somebody brought it up. Mm. I don't get it. Is this Hooters? Basically. But instead of wings, we sell DVDs. And instead of a boob job, you get a lip ring. Why the hell did I get a job? This is just as degrading as selling my body on MySpace. You can do that? Hell yeah, Emily told me. It's on the internet so the cops don't track it. I've been having sex for free this whole time. You're telling me I could have got paid for it? Yeah, you want to try it with me? Fuck this place, let's quit. Where I'm you the manager, sleep? remember? So you get a lanyard, big deal. This lanyard means I make $9.25 an hour, plus discounts, plus benefits. Yeah, you're kind of set for life here. How long do we have to work before they give us the lip ring? We don't give you one. You just get it yourself. Oh. Well, I quit then. Okay, it was nice working with you. Yeah, good luck. God, my space sucks a lot. How do I make a new account? Oh shit, what's up? Hey, what's good? I didn't know you drank coffee. Do you need to be somewhere? I don't need to be anywhere. It just tastes good. What Are you so fuck? homeless? Basically. I'm yeah, we just got to railroaded. Use this Wi Fi right now. Did you that was bullshit. What I you no, that was I'm bullshit. Right Why'd now, we quit? We were getting fired. Me? I mean, something that just lets people know you're down, honestly. Gotcha. You just work with her. No, this How is a different about girl. Dirty little rental. Little slutty. All right, what about. And we already heard all this. Princess. We already heard all this. Were there any other ones we missed? Depression pity party. Did we already do that? Ah! We already did that one. Um. Nope. Okay, well, let's let this dialogue play. Honestly, I don't know. It's just... We were both diagnosed with manic depression, and it's just hard to show up anywhere. Uh, what she said, it just nothing makes me happy anymore. Not even cocaine. I haven't tried it, I'm just assuming. Manic depression? 
Hmm, I'm not sure we've had that as an excuse before. But it's totally real. Come on, isn't it Mental Health Awareness Month? That's in May. Yeah, it's May. It's September. See? We're so messed up, we don't even know what month it is. And besides, Winnie Houston said we need a whole year. That was for Black History Month. Uh, no, what? it was for Mental Health Awareness right? Yeah, maybe. I just don't know anything anymore. I'm not sad. I just don't feel feelings or care about anything. I'm She's being like honest. Spiral. Oh my god, same. I just want to date a guy in his 30s and kill myself. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and I'm totally numb to hearing that because of my manic depression. What All right, fuck? fine. I'll excuse it this time. But I expect you girls to seek help if this really is so much of an issue for you. Oh, thank you, Miss Lynn. You made my day just a little bit better. I have no emotions either way, because depression, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. You didn't do shit, Miss Lynn. All right, I think instead of class, you should head over to your counselor for additional resources on your situation. Hey, uh, Principal Lynn, you, you got a minute? Hold on, girls. Trody? I thought you dropped out. Well, yeah, I did, but... What the I fuck kind of name is Trody? Room. Well, that's great to hear, Trody. Why the sudden change of plans? I think it'd just make going to college a little easier. Also, I got fired from Hot Topic. They said I let someone steal a shirt. So dumb. Oh, shit. Hey, what are you guys doing here? I thought you were skipping today. What? Why do you say that? They were in the mall like two hours ago. Oh, they said they were suffering from manic depression. Could you step outside for a bit? Uh, yeah, no problem. I meant Trody. Dropouts, am I right? Yeah, who can trust what they say? Manic depression, huh? Suicidal thoughts and all? Depressed I mean, people really don't go to the right mall. So we're not all the way lying. Was it all worth it? Worth it for a t-shirt at the mall? You must be so depressed. We stole an MSI shirt from Hot Topic. What about that doesn't scream depression? Dude, can we just go to an easier book? This is the easier book. Is everyone in the Reading Buddies program this stupid? Did we hey, hear this? The principal sent you here to help me, so make good or I'm snitching hard. Okay, fine. All right, try this first page. Sound it out. Uh, w um, um... I don't think we did. One... fis ha Two... fis ha Are you serious? You picked a hard one on purpose! It's a Dr. Seuss book, you fucking dipshit! Oh yeah, sure. If it's so easy, why don't you try it, huh? One fish, two fish, red fish, you bitch. Huh? Wait, that last part is... Blue fish! See, I knew you couldn't do it. This is a really potent punishment. Fucking no, idiot. I don't wanna drop out. Is Hooters hiring? Little Marta there, Dolores. Hey, look, not so sad, girls. Here we go again. What? She School. she couldn't even read the word it's blue. Senior year, you're not used to this. What a what a now. what a fucking Are idiot. You? I'm not either, but you sound like a sitcom. Here we go again. I think this is probably we her. Invited this bitch. Shut up, Nicole. This is the girl with the Adderall. Emily, Emily, where the hell did you get so much Adderall? My boyfriend's 25. I can get whatever I want. That's kind of awesome. So what a seven eight year age gap. I think we That's heard this. Cool. That should work out. Yeah, so oh, we have guys it? heard they're going to start giving out free syringes at South County. South County High School? Uh-huh. Before, they were trying to curb the opioid addiction, but now they're just trying to keep all the kids from getting hep C or whatever. Are they giving free heroin, too, or just the needles? Yeah, just the needles. It sucks. Oh, do you do that? Kind of. But you can get the heroin that, outside. Know, but it's just lines. Nothing serious. Your 25-year-old boyfriend dating you in high school got you into heroin? You guys are going to be awesome together. <laughs> if it's just lines, what do you want the needles for? For him, because he did it so much that, like, eventually doesn't hit as hard, you know? I think he'll be hitting plenty hard. Just give it time. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what? No, no, she's just talking to herself. So can I buy Addie's at lunch today? Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, I gotta go. Oh, my God. But yeah, she has a lot of Adderall. That's the opening comment after she leaves. Oh, yeah, my God. she's out there, but... Usually, when I look in the mirror, all I see is a self-destructive, pill-popping hoe. After five minutes with her, I feel like Selena Gomez. Like you feel Mexican? What? Never mind. Come on, let's hang out somewhere. I have school, Nicole. Dude, fuck that school shit. So from <laughs> everything we had to do last week, you learned no lessons. Lessons are for fat bitches who think Pilates will make their husband want to have sex again. You always find, like, the meanest way to say something. So you're just leaving me? Don't be a baby. I'll probably see you at lunch. Where are you going anyway? Okay, yeah, this this we all okay. All right, that's the end of that then. That's the end of that. Jekka should get better friends. It's high school. Everybody sucks. 
It's been a real ride. It's been a real ride. I hope they come out with more of these. Final thoughts? Oh, uh, I agree with Kirsha that the first one was better. Um, but this one wasn't bad or anything. It wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't want the Mr. Protect list? Yes, please. Yes, please. I'd say, like, the first one was, like, a... Was, like, a... In terms of, like, pure enjoyment as, like, a streaming game... For me, personally, it fit, like, really well within... My... Small streaming hours and stuff. So... Out of, like, a 10, I'd give it, like... Like, for stream content, I'd give it, like, a, like a 9.5 out of 10. Like, it was just, like, constant laughs and constant craziness and... It didn't take so long that, like, you lost the plot or whatever. Um... For this one, for the re-up, I would give this one... More like... Like, like a 7.5 out of 10. Like, it was still... it was still good. It was still... it was still okay. Maybe, maybe like, erring more on, like, the side of, like, an 8 out of 10. This one each route felt longer? Yeah, this one each route felt longer. I... I think I... Me, personally... I feel like the shorter routes... Were... Better? Because it was more, like... I, I think... I think... I think the writer does well... With, like, shorter, snappier things. Right? And... The shorter routes give them the opportunity to kind of go crazy with a with with a lot of different outcomes. Versus this one, a lot of the routes felt kind of samey. And while I appreciate that they were longer and kind of played into a more kind of played longer in uh, played better into the larger routes that they were part of. I just, I, I just think the... I think the shorter routes just worked better. I think... I think... Like, the game was still funny. But... I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... Inconsequential choices kind of suck. Yeah, there was a bit more... I want to say there was a bit more railroading in this one as well. Because there weren't as many routes, but that could just be like a... Noticing it more strongly than in the other game because there was so much more going on in the other game with all the with all the different endings That being said though, I do appreciate how the endings feel like they um Were properly built up to in this one Whereas with the other one some of the endings just kind of came out of left field Like it felt like you were in the middle of stuff happening and then it would hit you with the ending screen and you'd be like what the fuck? That's the end uh, Test Manager, thank you for the twenty dollars. I like this game, ironically. I'm not sure of how the dubs interpret their own work so differently than the audience does, but I appreciate them for making something different and for making content with actual edge to it. Yeah, Nasal Cotty, thank you for dollars. Seven point eight out of ten. Too much Adderall. I feel like it's just a good game. You know, like I think I think this is what people mean when they say they don't want politics in games. Where it's like... There's politics in this game, right? But like... And, and there was like definitely an intention from the author. But the writing... Tended to just be like so fun and so good. That it's like if you want to engage with the deeper themes, you you can. But you can also... Regardless of your beliefs, just enjoy... The game and what's happening. You know? Two speed saying from Lars. OD route was god tier and my life is worse now seeing how much better my existence could have been. Fun writing, yeah. The writing is not good and the voice acting is what's carrying it. I respectfully disagree. I think the writing was really fun. Uh, not one of us are coming, big PP. People don't want political agendas in game. People want political themes. Big difference. I don't know. The VA emotion did sell it. Favorite ending. Oh, favorite ending? Um, I don't know. The court one was really fucking funny. The court, the court ending from the first game. Uh, I streamed that part on Twitch. But 
In that ending, you like accuse a teacher of sexually harassing you and then you go to court over it. But like, the, all the teachers have been like fucking weirdos and shit. And so like listening to the lawyer like say something that's like technically true. But like, it, it, it was so fucking funny. It was so funny. I really liked the... I really liked the... Moving to LA ending. It was hilarious. Uh, part of my nickname. I'm always glad you liked the series. There aren't as many games like it out there. To just goof off and get some edgy laughs. Just got home from a car crash, by the way. Jesus Christ. Not at full... Dash cam saves loads of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Get a dash cam, Janet. Get a dash cam if you don't have one. Jesus Christ. It's kind of like South Park. Yeah, I think that's really fair. I th Nits, I think that's like the perfect comparison, right? It's a lot like South Park. It's a good game. A good game. I liked it. I liked it. And I liked the writing. So which ending is canon? I have no idea. Um, and from this game... I don't know what my favorite ending would be. Oh, uh, my favorite- my favorite message is easily the one that Jeffrey sends after the, um... The school shooting route. In the first game. Um... I don't know, but I also really like the- the message when Nicole kills herself. And Jekka sends a message and the title is just, sorry. And she sends like a really- she sends like a really sweet, simple and sad message. Uh, this is Elding from Lars. If the story makes you react in any way, it's good writing. Any writing that elicits emotional response is good. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. That one was really emotional, yeah. Miss you! Oh, was that it? Was that the name? It, or was that the- was that the title? Okay, I misremembered. But it was- it was very sweet. Sorry, miss you. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> this game suffers from a lack of Mr. White. Okay, there was already three white supremacy endings in the other one. We did not need any more, okay? We did- Maybe- maybe- maybe like... They could have cut one of the endings from the original game and put it in this one. Would have been fine. Oh, pouting from Lars. I'm still crying over the suicide pact message. Did the Kirsten interviewer with the devs already happen? Yeah. Um... From this one... I think my favorite ending was probably... This one. The one where... You fuck with the, with the remedial teacher and you and the other girl do like the suicide, but Nicole doesn't actually kill herself. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Emily is fucking crazy. The packed ending? Yeah. I haven't been... ...all streams, but listening to you coming on the game was fun as hell! Yeah, nice! Thank you, thank you! Hey, if you're gonna get shit for two or three, might as well keep on it. Mr. Yorling from Lawrence, it's been so funny to see all these IRL places in the game. I promise Northern Virginia isn't that bad. Also, the school has way more Asian plus Hispanic kids. Did you actually... Did you, did you actually, like, go to these places? Like, other than just to take photos. I saw... Uh, I want to show you, actually. I want to show you. Mr. Yara took a, took a photo... Outside, like, the actual school. Hold on. Let me... Let me... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I asked for the... Oh, I went to Twitch, not Twitter. I asked for the super chat list, and I'm probably gonna miss more. Um... Oh, no! What the fuck? No! Shable Tanya is graduating! What the fuck? Oh... Oh, wait! No! She's not graduating! They're transferring... Oh, thank God! Okay. They're transferring her IP to her and stuff. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, good ending. Sorry, for those of you who don't know, uh, Shable Tanya, she's another VTuber. Uh, she's part of a group called Lit Media. And there was, like, some stuff that went down with their company. I don't want to get into all that, but she's a, she's a good VTuber. And, um... Like, a bunch of the people left, and, and at first I thought, I thought she was graduating, but when you click on it... Because it says contract termination notice, but when you actually click on it, it says they're giving her the... Uh, the copyrights and stuff. That's... I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, anyways! Anyways! Are you trying to scare people? I'm not! I, I just clicked on the Twitter and I... Okay, leave me alone. Shut up. Shut up, chat. Hello? 
Mama, Mama, Mama. Dun, 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 dun! Look at this, chat! Look at this! Hold on, hold on. I'll take another. I'll take another screenshot to show off like the the bigger the bigger picture. That's the place. That's the pl look. Look, they color swapped it a little bit for some reason. They like changed the color of the poles. Or maybe it's just that in real life the poles got painted later. I'm gonna start as Angry Dolores. Jacob was the best character in this game. Put on Toki thing with about the la 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 la. On your love, on your love. Um. Kenneth Foreman, thing front doors. Creators of this game said they made all the girls watch Paris Hilton reality show to make sure they all talk like 2008 girls and didn't have anime voice. Based. No one of us ain't gonna be beat. People don't want... Oh, I read that. That was a good call. That was a good call. A yeah, cool coincidence that a baby knows a real place. Yeah! It's like I'm actually there, bros! Oh, man. I wouldn't want to be here. It is kind of... Kind of a fucked up place, actually. In the game. Not in real life. I'm sure. I hope. Well, all high schools are kind of fucked up places. But anyways. Anyways. Was it good call? The voice acting was so on point? It was, man. It was. Man. I thought it was in 09. Maybe in 23 it's different. True. That was a long time ago. It was over 10 years ago. It's crazy to think about, isn't it? Time goes by so fast. I know that's like such a generic thing to say, but it's it's still just true. Mr. Yeah, I think we're fun doors. There's been name drops of local restaurants and stuff too. That library earlier was one I always went to as a kid. Seriously? Wait, did the did the developer like actually go to school and stuff here then? Uh, no more Pippa Pippa fan thing with Dolores Pippa, please! No more visual novels! Yes, more visual novels! I like visual novels! Um... We still gotta finish Nekopara. Alrighty! The Mark Green Experience! Thank you for the 20 gift peepees! Thank you, thank you, Invader! Thank you for the gift peepee! Clay Pigeon, thank you for the 3 gift peepees! Please, thank you for the 20 gift peepees! Jesus Christ! And thanks for breakfast, thank you for the gift peepee! Necro, thank you for the 10 gift PPs! James Jameson, thank you for the gift PP! Arclight, thank you for the 20 gift PPs! Dick Wayne, thank you for the 5 gift PPs! Natural Saucer, Jesus fucking Christ, thank you for the 50 gift PPs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Lily White Doctor, thank you for the 10 gift PPs! I killed, thank you for the gift PP! Mr. Yura, thank you for the gift PP! Dick Gob, thank you for the 5 gift PPs! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Pippa gonna do the fate visual novel! Ah! Maybe someday. Maybe someday. When my when are my throats when my throat's feeling better, maybe. It's like Cause I don't usually have English voice acting, right? So it's like I gotta do the voices. And I have to commit. I have to commit to actually completing it, because otherwise it ends up like an island of Dr. Moreau situation. There's another name that I can't read! Thank you for the bug get beep! I can't read your name, I'm sorry. But, um... Rip book streams, yeah. Don't strain yourself, yeah. I might... I was thinking... I was thinking about... Just... Starting over with the Island of Dr. Moreau stuff. And releasing it as, like, one long video. And maybe, like, premiering it. Show you anything with the $10 as someone from PG County. I promise you, we're not crackheads. Violence may be prevalent. Oh, but I got in for doors. The re-up was fun watching, being played the second time around. Glad your bargain with the fox woman turned out a net positive for you. Yeah! That sounds good. I'm happy finds like an actual audiobook, yeah. And then I can like, stick around and chat. Maybe I can save it for like a day when I'm not feeling well enough to stream. And I can, I can release that. But then it'd be like really long. It'd... Like it's probably, it's probably gonna be like a 10 hour read. If I skim the shit out of Kersha. No, I didn't. She never beat Yik. I went above and beyond on my end of the deal. Kersha didn't even beat Yik. Then I'm doodling from Lars. Pippa, you s sleep on a bed covered in pigeon droppings. So anyways, I've had a lung infection for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Awesome Cobalt thing on B. That's the thing from Lars. Have you tried to have chest pains after taking the meds? Is that normal? Also, I knew you were from Resident, 7 Resident Evil 7, mauled creature. 
I, th I think it is normal, right? Like, why would I bother contacting the doctor? I'd have to talk to my doctor, and I don't want to do that. Tim Stabs, thank you for the five dollars. Five dollars. It's a funny little message, aren't you, a little... Aren't you up to some shenanigans, you little jokester? Oh, thank you for the two dollars just to finish the first bill they are for gunsmithing class. Hell yeah! Gunsmithing class, that sounds exciting. Whoosh, thank you for the twenty dollars. Medicine is expensive. Yeah, take my gas money, Pippa. Why would you give me your gas money? But thank you. Done garrisoning. I hope the root canal wasn't bad. I haven't gotten the root canal yet. I haven't gotten that yet. That's coming up, though. That's coming up. Sarah, thank you for the gift. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kraven, thank you for $10. I had some fillings done today as well. I know that you mean... What you mean about the stinging? Oddly enough, I got some cysts on my upper lip as an after effect. Oof. I told the doctor and they said not to bite them. Yeah, don't bite those. Iridium, thank you for $10. So many boss to catch up on, but I'm almost there. We're having a great night loving the series. And don't forget the puppets. No puppets. Uh, Tamaya Spice, thank you for coming. Big, big, big. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, scene acting for the $10. All these teachers act like... Nicole, you're a bit too old to apply for lead actor for the sequel of Cuties, but I'm sure we can work something out. True. TT, thank you for the Pippa Chan on the love. Go buy another soda. Ali, thank you for the gift. Thank you, thank you. I missed it. Little brother, love. Mr. Yarling, Dolores, uh, why can't the phase growth just be normal? Because then we wouldn't be higher than phase connect. <laughs> Talking bulk pricing for the $10. This is for the pain. Oh, thank you, thank you. Dragon thing, the $2. Pippa plus Pippa's mom plus Kelly H2O equals skill issue. Florence Dono, thank you for the $2. Suffer maxing is a great way to improve. True. Pistachio, thank you for the 4,000 cops. Pippa, would you try playing Snoot game? Cool the end. Hmm, how long is it? How long is it? See, I don't want to make a commitment to like a 40-hour visual novel, right? Because visual novels are 40 hours long when you're just playing them normally. So reading them, like, multiplies the time by two. Snoot game length. Uh, Bob met thing for Lords. By the time this is over, people will have more dental work than an entire professional hockey team. Also, sick man demands pipettes. Oh my god. Um... How long is this game? There's no, like, no things. It's like two to three streams. Hmm... Tama thing with Dolores Pipits for live, love, and laughs. 120 hours? What? For Snoot game? For a parody game? Holy fuck. Robert thing with Dolores licking my screen, licking my screen. What the fuck? Like 65 hours? I've never heard of it before. Oh, fuck you. Average is about 15 hours. Oh, 120 is fake. It's like 16 hours? Oh my fucking god. It's a parody passion game. Oh my god. Can I see Wolf thing come to pee pee? Slow but pacing, Dolores, you are now blinking manually. Oh fuck you. Xander thing with Dolores, mac and cheese is godly when dealing with tooth issues. I lived on it when I got my wisdom teeth out. Tell me a spice thing with Dolores. Hey, pee 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 I just wanna say I've been lurking for a year now and I love your content. You always make me smile. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. I got. I got. Check out. I gotta check out your stuff. I see the the ch, the ch, which is like the the indicator of a fellow VTuber. Six to eight for all endings. I guess that's not terrible. The ch. <laughs> you can filter out, or you can you can identify the normies. It's a normie marker because when they actually try to pronounce it, unironically, it's like, oh, you don't know what a VTuber is. So she means something with the five gifted days. Uh, Mr. Anime and Lee Maker thing from Dolores. Can we get? Whole books translated from Pippinese like you did that quote about change. Double thing with the two dollars. Hey, Pips, who's the best girl and why is it Nicole? I don't know. Jekka kind of grew on me. Nah, Emily. Wild Red thing you were the five dollars. Would you say it sucks that your health... Wait. Would like to say it sucks that your health is in a bad way. Also, thanks for motivating me to go to the dentist myself. <gasps> I'm proud of you! Good job going to the dentist if you've already done it. If you haven't done it yet. Then I'm not proud of you, yet. But when you do go to the dentist, I will be proud of you. Uh, Xanopathy, they were the... Or, Xanthopathy. They were the 50,000... Lanterns. You should check out The Coffin of Andy and Lele. It's a semi-horror visual novel featuring a brother and sister duo. Wink. What do you mean, wink? 
Uh, Mr. Erling, with delights, can't wait for the 150 hour Umaneko read along. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I like the crowd that that game has become like. I'm not gonna say anymore. Mythos Infinite Thing from Front Doors. This game is so cool and edgy. I wish girls were real. Toyo told me I'm mean, anything from Front Doors. Tsubahiva is a good visual novel, but kind of long. Sadistic blood is shorter and would make for a great stream. Uh, Crusader thing from Lords. This game makes me thankful. The hardest thing people did in my school was weed, nicotine, and alcohol. Uh, this Lord's thing was doing that. Very proud of you. Always cheering you on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for, thank you for the kind messages all the time. Uh, Dan Tran, thank you for the 690. I can relate. Got an infection in my gums and it hurts to eat. Well, misery loves company. Feel better soon. Got an infection in your gums. Did you go to the, to the doctor? Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo, thing. Dolores, uh, 10 hours to 100% visual or VAing yourself. Stop getting one guide. What? Ten hours to one hundred percent snoot game? Like in this golden gear thing where the Norris Pippa actually getting healthy? Because I'm gonna have to improve my health as well. Also Jeffrey's best boy. I mean a spicy from front doors! The only thing you will find on my YouTube at the moment is a review of your coffee. Ah Ah Did you die? Randy, I think with the dollars found you through TikTok. Oh my god. Watched so many vlogs and first beat the brats I had a hall life I was interested in. Great streams, love the content. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, thank you, Randy! If you're still watching, thank you, thank you! Greetings from the Tiki Talkies. Uh, Charles, thank you for the 10,000 cops! The average 4 channel in a nutshell. Also, don't go to opioid attachment arc. Pip. What was the context? See that? Thank you for the $2. Do a line of it. Oh, two types of chatters. Hey, great anything for the five dollars. Here's the contribution to the Pippa Pill Fund. Thank you, thank you. Thing or sick thing for five dollars. Meds, hate, have it, love. Glad to see you in high energy today, Rabbit. Also got unbanned from the Discord. Pippa Bog. Nice, 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 nice. Little taunting red two dollars. Difference between meds and poison is dosage. Loud pounding for the five dollars. I swapped your heart meds for those sugar pills. I think, I think middle aged moms tend to do that on their own. They don't need their daughters to do that. One Facebook group and they're radicalized into homeopathy. Crossover maniac thing with the two dollars. Nicole is the worst. She is a sociopath. Uh, is there a thing or two dollars? Modern poetry sucks ass. And kick eating with five dollars. My coworker said you're a bad VTuber and refused to take it back, so I outed him for stealing at work. You should have listened to the reason. What the fuck? What was he stealing? I'm gonna start as two dollars. Love Jekka is such a hilarious character. To the max thing for dollars. Do you want a pink SU-27 fighter jet skinned after you? Or a pink Adam RC penguin skinned after you. Also name it. Um Fighter Jet. And you can call it Jetkin Jetta. Yeah, <laughs> Nikoda, I think we're fun toys. Seconding Silvahibi visual novel, but for personal reading, too yab. Uh as fun as me, Yuri, Lucky Star, Wonderland, main character smokes, it's got everything. Might have to check it out. I'm not gonna lie, I already googled it earlier. I already, already googled it earlier. Uh, Malcolm Lang, thing went to Dolores. Nicole has a master degree in communication. Gabriel Navarro, thing for Dolores. Once I saw an old man with mind comp on his lap while on the bus. Brazil. Oh. I don't think he was... I don't think he was using that for any... debates. Uh, Milk Parts, thank you for the two dollars. Want a full voice act... Want a full voice act game? Why not Disco Elysium? No. Spend, they grew through lives. Normies don't know many books. You're safe, Pippa. Bingo, bingo, tango, bingo. They grew through Need to double fist with the calm manifesto for balance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works out. Kenneth Foreman, they grew through I showed my mom this game. Nicole reminded her of my sister a lot. She asked to stop watching. She was worried it was going to rub off on you. I say, they grew If you saw someone reading that in public, what would be your initial reaction? Probably take a picture and send it in the work discord and be like... What are your thoughts on this? And that'd be my contribution to Face Connect, giving everybody a stream topic. It'd be like, oh my god, Pippa saw... Pippa sent this photo in the work discord of... Some guy on the bus reading Mein Kampf? Content for days. Micro Nightmare thing with the 50,000 lanterns! Pippa, my friends and even my boxing coach are curious in VTubers, what should I do? Uh, show them a Gura stream and if they don't like that, don't bother. It, listen, if they can't, if they can't handle a Gura stream... They're probably- they're probably not gonna like any other VTubers. Like, that's like the- that's like the most, like... 
like saying this positively about Gura, like she is like the most like accessible for like everybody to enjoy. You know what I mean? Like she's not too like crazy that it would like put off people just looking for a chill time. But she's not so like boring that people looking for excitement would be bored. And her voice is kind of like... Anime? But it's not like... Annoyingly anime? And her model is like... Lowly, but not... Gato baby? Or... Kyoto kind of lowly? You know what I mean? Yeah, and she's a good singer. Like, you can show them her singing first as like a... Like a solid, like, first... First example. And then you show her... Show them her actual streams. You say she's perfect. I don't know if she's as perfect as Vatame, but you know. She's pretty good. Did I say anything in front of doors? Oh, I read that. Cross over maniac thing in front of doors. I'm not reading that. This reads like Dolores question. Do they print copy? Oh my god, I don't know. Sparky's tech corner. Thank you for the $10. I hate dental work. I had medicine as a kid that messed with the enamel of my teeth that caused issues and suffered from constant abscess later on. To the point I had to have my top teeth removed. Holy fuck. Oh yeah! Other person! If your gums are infected, you might- There might actually be an abscess and you might need a tooth pulled. So... Yeah. Hi, I'm Jungle. Thank you for There's a site called Movie Bob or Nazi. You have to guess who said the quote. Lamau. No. No. Now, hold on. This is a Google Doc. I'm not clicking that. Hold on. There's a Sporkle quiz. Oh my god, there's a hundred questions? We're gonna have to play this sometime. Bahamut, thank you for the five dollars. Bleeping on men was the point. The paper was a troll. Nate Civil, thank you for Be honest, you answered Paris, didn't you? No. Louis Rivera, thank you for the 333. Six, six, get on CSGO. But also, thank you for decades of Paradox Grand Strategy games with the name of every country that ever existed or could have existed. The Fox, thank you for With these War Thunder leaks going on, are you planning on a War Thunder stream? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I have this MIG-29 flight manual and the SU-57RCS info to get you started. Oh, okay, thank you. You can just send that right over. Bongo Bingo Tango Mango, thank you for Middle of the bell curve. I... an accomplishment. Uh, Penta, thank you for the 20,000 cops. One time, the teacher asked another student to point Oceania, Australia in English, I think, on a map, and he couldn't respond even when people helped him with other continents. I don't think I'd be able to identify it as Oceania either. I know, like, that region is called, like, Oceania because, like, MMO servers? Like, MMO servers will be, like, regions. NA. SA. EU. Oceania slash... Southeast Asia. Uh, certain non-applicable thing we find there is new girl in high school that claimed HIV caused homosexuality. Huh. Daniel Sierra, they are the five dollars. But believe it or not, you're unironically above average intellect. <gasps> I'm never gonna hear that one again. You actually have some passive book smarts! You would not believe how our people are. Arr, maybe? Shippy Shop, thank you for the $10. In an elementary school, we picked up historical figures to research and dressed them up... Dressed up as them for Halloween. I picked Hitler. My mom gave me a little Hitler stash and a swastika armband. The 90s were wild. You better hope those pictures never get out. Get the end for you, thank you for the doors. Hydrate, you yabbit! Vashing one dollar. Want to go on a super tangent and do a country naming quiz? We've already done one of these! Hector Gomez, and we're just Pippa the Scientist! Oh, but on the other hand, you do have a... You do have a very bright future in politics, should you choose to pursue them. All the most popular politicians have photos of them dressed up doing something... At least vaguely racist. Indigious! Thank you for the fine dollars. I once saw a girl get punched in the face over Skittles. Average day. 
when I start thing, Return Lore's history class does it best to ignore cool history. Night Proctor of Chuba sing Return Lore's I got my Pippa blanket yesterday! <gasps> nice and nice! -o. It's really soft and well made. Quick question, why does it smell like pizza? Not real pizza, mind you, but like pizza flavored lip balm. Okay, that's oddly specific. I wouldn't know. I've never used pizza flavored lip balm, so I don't know what to like compare it to. Let me get spicing, Dolores. Who would win a, a PC Battle Royale? I think the answer to that is Tenma, because she won Phase Wars. If I remember correctly. Uh, Mr. Yurating, Dolores, great history teachers are incredible and inspirational and stick with you for life. Mediocre ones make you want to self pop tart. I don't think I ever had a great history teacher. I think every history teacher I've ever had was kind of just like. dumb. And I didn't like them. I liked the classes that they taught. Like, I liked taking U.S. history, but... At best, the teachers were just tolerable. Uh, Lander Tom, thank you for the five dollars. No, I can't, I can't say that. One of my English teachers also taught history. Although I didn't take history... Like, from him. So... I don't know. Lander Tom, thank you for the five dollars. Don't do... Psych! It's one of those subjects that seem... Interesting, then you get into it, and not only is the content boring, but your classmates suck. Hmm. Huh. Alif, thank you for $5. Mongolian history is especially fun, it's just super interesting for about 200 years, and then meh for the rest of time. Versus Kitsu, thank you for the $5. Science is one of those goofy things where everything is impossible until you figure out how to actually do it. Sir, not applicable, thank you for the $20. The entire biotech industry is entirely dependent on the steady supply of baby cow blood, a la fetal bovine serum. It's a key ingredient of almost all cell media. We use it because it works and we don't really know why. Well, to quote Joe Rogan... That scares me! <laughs> I forget what he actually said. He just talked about that. He just talked about that on, on JRE. About when the doc... Or when scientists say, Well, it works, but we don't know why. And he was like... I forget what he said exactly. It was something like, well, don't you think we should before trying, before, before letting people use it? Oh, Lil Z, thing with the $5. Pippa, I swear. I made that ADL statement as a joke. I didn't know it was in the game. Actually, $5. Well, Pippa, now that this is almost over, which girl did you find the cutest? Oh, the cutest? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ari was pretty cute. Tango Mango, thing with Dolores. So who's the best boy, Kyler or Jeffrey? Vote now, chat. All right, I'll make a poll. I'll make a poll. Best boy, Kyler or Jeffrey? Oh, my thing with Dolores, both. Or neither thing with the two dollars. Can't continue. Thing with the two dollars. I'm the angry video game nerd. The both thing with Dolores. Can we pick both? What's seven thing with Dolores? I don't know. Or don't know. I'm 23, not teacher age. Multi clever name thing with Dolores. Pippa is literally the white guy yelling at video games. What do you mean literally? What the fuck do you mean literally? You know what that word means? You misspelled both names. Hey! 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 hey, hey, hey. Listen now. Listen now. I just got a super chat saying I'm above average intellect. And you're gonna tell me I spelled the names wrong? Maybe you just misremembered! Maybe, maybe you remembered wrong! How about that one, assholes? PT and Fane, they were the five dollars! Sorry, Pippa, my workplace policy re prevents me from answering that question. Uh, glue stick, they were the two dollars. Yes! Now, uh, Fugu, they were two dollars. Pippa, you're the one who likes Riona. I don't talk about that. Crossover Maniac, they were two dollars. I want Nicole Minecrafted, so she's half right. Uh, Big Bad Beard, thing with the two dollars. No, I just want to regular Minecraft teenagers. Apache, thing with Dolores. Based mom, if give her a good child. Lucy and thing with the two dollars. She has the soul of a devil. Listen, I'm just gonna say. Based mom, if you gave her a good child. Well, she wouldn't. If she was a good mom, she would have raised a good child. Excluding environmental factors and genetic health issues. I'm glad thank you to Dolores. I was kicked out at 16. I'm fine. Just fine. I don't believe you. Marine, thank you for the $50. $20. If we get disowned, can you adopt us for experiments? Uh... No, I don't have a shed for you to live in. Oh, thank you to Dolores. That's super lied to you. 
How do I know you're not lying to me? Checkmate. The space secret Dolores need her god, please. Can we go back to the old o the OD pact? Uh, these e-bikes here the two dollars gay people have always driven Mustangs. Okay. Back up, sock up, secret Dolores. DSI chance rise up! You're really from Dolores. I wanted to apologize for one guy you about science. In my defense, I'm off my meds, Lamal. It's okay. I think most of my chat is off their meds. It's all right. It's all right. You're just, you're just, you know, winning Rome. This speed thing from Dolores. Screw favors. I'd sell my soul for her. Put me in eternal torment because I've been bad in a generally downward sense. Okay. It's a cannon thing with Dolores, Pippa. Why do you know about the roses thing? They used to watch like documentaries and stuff. I learned that one from one about Craigslist, um, roommate stuff. I forget what it was. It was like it was like a documentary about um, <sighs> uh, living with people on Craigslist. Like the idea was like you would. Oh fuck! What was the? What was, I don't even remember what it was called. It was free on YouTube. It was about it was about um. Craigslist, uh, renting. The rental section on Craigslist and how it was, like, full of crime and... Craigslist in general was full of crime. Real I think we're becoming big to be! Pippa! Can I have... Wait, you already give so much. Have another month membership on me. <gasps> Thank you! You're welcome! I am a very giving person, aren't I? Mr. Turner is angry, Dolores. If I'm ever kicked out, I know Mama Kim will adopt me. Shut up. No, she won't. Oh, that thing, Dolores. I would never lie to you. I swear! I think you're lying to me right now. You're speeding for the Lord's... Oh god, right, meds. Thanks for the reminder, Pippa. I was wondering why I had a killer headache. Go take your meds, chat. I'm not gonna disappear if you take your meds. I stay anything with the $2. Proof Pippa has no Y, only X's. Yay for best stream. What? Next time I with the $10 in my school, there was a epidemic of iPods getting stolen. It got so bad there aired a PSA where iPods magically rose from students' bags and floated into a closet where a guy inside lolled maniacally. What the fuck? That's some schizo shit. Quail thing with the $10. I finally saw a dentist after five years! My new dentist looked at my mouth and literally said, Oof! He tried to save a front tooth last week, but the fix is temporary and he'll need to pull it. Yeah, it happens. Lucy and the $10. I chased my deer... I chased the deer on my meds! Oh, okay. I think you need more medication. Ah oh, man, when I was at the dentist... When I was at the dentist chat... Um... I kinda stung a little bit. I kinda stung a little bit. The words, the words that they said to me, chat. Apache thing from Lord's typo, I meant based mom. I'd give her a good child. Oh, okay. Um... Because last time... The dentist said to me... You're so laid back, it's nice. Watermelon thing with one dollar. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. Right, but this time! This time, the dentist said to me. Most patients aren't as anxious as you. I feel like that invalidated the previous compliment. I knew he was lying. I knew he was lying. They're trying to confuse you. I mean, he's right. Is that supposed to help? I don't remember what the context was. I kind of... I kind of blank out <laughs> while I'm in the chair. I, I, I have an earbud in and I just try my best to focus on the music. But not so focused that I would, like... Not, like, keep my jaw in the right position. Because I'm paranoid that, like, if I... Like, if I... If I... If I... If I don't focus enough to, like, keep my jaw in the right place... That, like, I'll, I'll start closing it and I'll, like... They'll, like, cut me with the tools. I've had that happen. Not at this dentist, but at a different dentist. Like, I was paying attention and stuff. I was paying attention. It was his... It was his mistake. Where he cut me with the... With the little... With the little... Saw thing, little hand saw, fucking spinny, woo! motherfucker, cut my tongue. Eh, try to do thing with Dolores. Confidence shattered. Confidence shattered. Um, go to go thing with Dolores. Can Pippa make a cover of the watermelon head wrap? I uh, didn't say anything from Dolores. Muhammad lies. I'm Christian. I don't lie if I can help it.
Unless. Cut you out of spite. Is this the cheap dentist? The dentist that cut my tongue was not a cheap dentist. Um, the cheap dentist was the one that does army work usually. And they didn't like fuck my mouth up or anything in terms of like cutting it, but they did such a bad job on the fillings that they ended up getting infected. And I remember one of the fillings was like super pointy and it, it kind of wore down over time, but it used to like it used to like cut my tongue, like rubbing against it. Like it, it made like a little sore on my tongue. Army ones aren't the best yet. Yeah, don't go to a dentist that works for the army, Chad. Don't do that. That doesn't work out, Chad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I would have more teeth if they did a better job. Teeth were army strong. Huh. Huh. Uh, Samurai night thing went to the lawyers. Battered woman shelter. I shadow box outside there. Oh! You shouldn't do that! Next Angeles thing from Doors, my school had web filters to prevent to stop us from visiting certain websites. We just load the CA or UK version to get around it. Uh one of the one of the schools that I went to had had website filters. So I couldn't access Neopets, but good news, there were other sites out there like Neopets that I would use instead. Yep, all thing with Doors, when are we showing Pippa Battle Tech lore, bros? Two speed thing with Doors, white woman spotted. They sell this infinite thing for Dolores Troll Up vs. Nonce. It's a battle for the ages. Two speed thing with the two dollars I would give Emily all the lore favors she wants. How come the ending thing for Dolores when I was in high school? The neighbor carved a hole in their wall which faces the school to sell junk food to students. What? That don't think with the one dollar? How come the ending thing with the one dollar? Eddie Lombardo thing with two dollars? Was it a Darman video, Pippa? I'm sorry, what was the context? That's the thing, Dolores. Here, you need some money, panhandler. Oh, the one where no, no, his name is something Trahan. This is better thing, my lord. She's not lying about those army dentists. Never again. Yeah, don't go to the army dentist yet. No, it's something Trahan. Is it like John Trahan? Jake Trahan? David Trahan? I don't know. Um, World Canadian Borough? Not John Tron. Uh, they should update your model to match your missing teeth. I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> Ryan Tron! Ryan Tron? I think that might be it. Ryan Trahan? I don't know. Say it? Okay, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Chris Pendle! In front door, I'm glad the game is done. I'm gonna Minecraft myself. Oh, I was gonna Minecraft myself listening to those characters. Glad I can watch my Yoshi again till the next filter. Oh, you see about that. We're actually going back to Yik. No, I'm kidding. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not playing Yik again. Um. I don't know what we'll do next. That's. That's a tomorrow Pippa problem. Nimble girlfriend have everything with doors. Imagine thinking Pippa isn't charismatic. Child thing with the 26. So don't quit your day job, Pippa. Pippa smug. Uh, probilitator thing with doors. Some pity from me. Hate to see you on the streets. Fuck you. Said primary thing with two dollars. Pippa Panhandler Pippa. What's with a name that I still can't read? Thank you for the 100 HKs. Hello, I'm 48 year old man from China. Sorry for my bed, England. I sold my wife for internet connection for C Pippa, and I am big pee pee. Please no coffee pasta, my story. You did what with your wife? What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Bebo saying thank you for the two dollars. You should play Phantasmagoria one and two. Oh, that's the game when that comes up when you misspell phasmophobia on Steam. <laughs> no copy pasta. You got bad from England. Fancy. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Some some hay stuffed into a potato sack? I don't think that'd be very fancy. Uh, anyways. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, there was that streamer that got sexually harassed in Hong Kong. And I was actually really impressed. But not that she got sexually harassed, but um... 
while she was getting sexually harassed, uh, one of one of one of the people I assume was a local came up and 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 interrupted it or stopped it, which kind of like defied some of my expectations, I guess, because like I've heard that in um I guess a lot of Asian cultures, it's kind of like a like everybody stays in their own lane and they just kind of like avoid and ignore potential confrontation and stuff. But yeah, he was a he was an actual good Samaritan. Uh Micro Nightmare thing, I love fifty dollar reduce. He showed my coach Gooba, he said, Who is that pink girl you were listening to? To point out that he's younger than me and a Zoomar, help! He's your coach and he's younger than you? I just assumed you were in like school or something. What? Good people do exist. Good people do exist. Hmm. Like the guy who got knocked out in Japan. That was a... I assume a tourist... That knocked the... Annoying streamer... Out. In Japan. He needs to be banned from going there? Yeah, now about the sexual harasser... People already found his real name. People, people found the real name of that guy that, that sexually harassed that, that streamer. Which I, for legal reasons, will not endorse. Get cool, thank you for the two dollars. Didn't you make a hundred on feet stream? Mo favor? Fuck off. Bahamut, thank you dollars. No, women aren't human. Oh, okay. This be thank dollars. God, I want her to be bereading me instead. What the fuck? They were fast to do so? You know, if anything, I'm surprised it didn't happen faster. Big bad beard! Thank you for the two dollars. Need more Tomar inflicting mental trauma on teens. Two speeds, thank you for the dollars. OD route was god tier and my life is worse now seeing how much better my existence could have been. Leandro Martinez, thank you for the two hundred dollars. Two speeds, thank you for the twenty dollars. Hi, I'm actor Troy McClure. You might remember me from such films as There is no comfortable spot in your mouth for your tongue. It just sits there. You're making saliva too, and your body is itching in at least one spot. Oh, my back itches. My back is itchy. Do you guys ever try and do that thing like bears do where they rub their backs up against a tree, but you do it with your computer chair, but your computer chair doesn't really have like friction, like bark and shit. So you're more like just kind of like wobbling. And then it's more like a rubbing effect, so it doesn't actually help like the itchiness at all. In fact, it kind of just makes it worse and more uncomfortable. But you keep trying because you keep hoping and maybe it'll satisfy the itch, but it never does. Steph feeling for the 10,000 cops. I'm just gonna reach back. But then you have to like, then you have to like reach into your, like your shirt sleeve to, 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 to get back to it. It's such a pain in the ass. And you never find good back scratches. I've never, I've never, I had one good back scratcher. I need to, I need to find the same one again. It was like a nice wooden one. And it had like sufficiently pointy, uh, like scratchy bits. But the, the ones from Dollar General that I got are like, they're like metal. But it's just like, it's just like. Dull on the end, so it doesn't satisfy the itch. It feels like I'm just bruising myself every time I'm trying to itch a scratch. Scratch an itch. Sassy only for the ten thousand cops. So, Peppa, let's say you try and no, no commitment. You have a website so you can see some screenshots. Schizo power. Nah, Pip love ten k cops. Should put that on a shirt. Okay. <laughs> it's a scratch. Do it against the doorway! Like against the, um... The... Oh fuck, I forget what it's called. I have long arms, I scratch myself with my hand. Okay, well fuck you, pistachio! You privileged son of a bitch! Get to the frame! I'm holding? I don't know, it seems kinda... Hold on, I'm gonna go try. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You're a fucking liar, and I hope you die of cancer. That didn't work. Pranked? Fuck you guys, I'm an extreme. I'm an extreme! Because of 
you guys! Not because we're... 26 minutes past my usual end time. I say usual end time as if my average hasn't gone up to being more like four hours instead of three hours. Hey, pounding doors, we call that scratching the bare necessities? Where'd my stream thing go? Is this it or is this an old one? This is it, okay. Dun 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 dun! Ah, alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Otsu botsu, otsu botsu, otsu cringe, I keep biting my tongue! Oh, I gotta wait for YouTube to refresh. Alright. Alright, you guys voted Kyler at 52% as best boy. Um. Oh, thank you! And XOR for becoming Big BB. Are you gonna get the iPhone 15 tips? Nope. Nope, I use Android. I have a work iPhone. For, like, tracking and stuff, but... I don't actually use it for anything. It literally just stays plugged in and it stays on my desk. Um... Um... We shall read... The Uruga. The Uruga. Legendary God Gamer, please, Celeste. Wait, or we could raid Lisa. Wait, we like never get to raid Lisa. Hold on, I don't want to raid Lisa. If she's still, if she's still going. Hold on. I raid Lisa. Be nice to her. Be very nice and remember not to backseat, okay? Read the rules of the stream. Read the rules of the stream before you post, okay? You click the little description box. All right? All right. Hakka-ching! Then come to me. All right. Oh, too cringe! I'll see you guys!